Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So very happy to be here for show number 2,565 here on Twitch. Can we go over some Mega Satan completion marks today? And who knows what else? Let's head on in and see where the game takes us somewhere fun, I'm sure. Thanks everybody for being here nice and early. Let's hop on and get caught up with the fine people here in chat and your wonderful support. And then we'll head on in. What's up, uh, Elusive? Hey there, Private. What's up, Cool, Cats and Reggae, Katen, Little Chef, what's up, Hackaloo, Scale Tone, 10 more push-ups, what's up, Noise, A hey, Smoke Crazy, Mario 66, Pet Brain, what's up, Destruction, Night Owl, hey there, Penvy, what's up, Mouse, Valdemar, Blue King Crab, and all the rest, hell yeah. Alright, let's see what we got going on here, am I on the right save first and foremost, I am. I'll just do a regular character run to start today. Uh, Mega Satan on Samson. Go. Oh, this is greedier. Okay, let's try it again. Mega Satan on Samson. Here we go. Right. The tough opening room, dude. Eternal chest in the first room. That is something. Am I gonna get the golden key to go with this? Probably not, but you never know. Fair enough. So Samson gains damage when he takes damage per floor, and then it resets when you go down the next floor. So he's got a built-in damage up, which is uh, a very nice mechanic to have. Eternal Chest Lucky Penny. What are these drops right now? Pretty good is what they are. Pretty good. I'm going to hold off on that for a moment. Excuse me. Drink some water here. All right, we got there. Yo, Sir Moines, thanks for 75 months. Thank you, thank you. That is quite a couple. Three-quarters century, in fact. Just fight the boss, we'll come back for the item room. This would have been a very good layout if we were going for um, Forgotten Unlock. It's already done on the save, just the way this played out with the boss room right there. Really good. Oh man. Did somebody order some sizzle? Health up, okay. One moment. Secret room is very likely to the north here. Yo, Lord Josh, thanks for 35. One more for three years. Thank you, dude. Hmm. Lazarus's rags? Uh, okay, I'll take it. I'm not... I don't want to be Lazarus. I don't. What if... I do this? You know, that's just not going to work out. Let's just go a little bit of a weird floor with what's on there, but... Hey... No, no resources dropped. Let's just scoot on down. All right, all right. The uh, Zago, nice to see ya. All 
I, I might go for this bloody combat room, but not until I force my Devil Door. We're going for God Rooms exclusively here because we're going for Mega Satan, so until we have our key piece, probably not going to be taking any Devil Rooms. Yo, Righteous Dude, thanks for eight months. Appreciate that resubscription, man. Dude, what a bonanza. You guys kicking off a hype train here. I haven't even really done anything yet, guys. Pingu Star, thanks for 16 months. If you do choose to share your resub, notifications, subscribe, use bits, or gift during this time, got a chance some exclusive emo unlocks. And Cookie, thanks for 13 months of lurking too. Legit. Ah, uh, the classic even DPS. Nice. Even Steven, I said. In. All right, all right. Uh, Proptosis is good. It does lower our range a little bit, but our up close damage becomes much better. A few range upgrades would be nice here, but overall damage increase. Didn't mean to take that. Oh, well. Yo, Lonely Elk, thanks for 10 months. Enjoy that lurk as well. Good. Okay, that hard I'm leaving there. Yo, Flybat Worm, thanks for nine months, man. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Get him. Yeah, I'd like to look in there, but at the same time... I think I'd rather go down to the alt floor, get that extra, um, extra item. might be there all right who's in here larry jr and friends okay that's enough of that all right there's the devil deal here's some pills i'm gonna take these after i go in the combat room let's do some shenanigans here i'm thinking hematemesis full health uh and bad trip could all heal us back after this exchange in here what's in here that's a horse pill okay i'm in let's go Bombs or key a bunch. Did I gain bombs and keys? How does that work? unhappy about that just curious what a very nice set of bosses to get here cool. um actually no this was the floor of the dark rock wasn't it no Before I grab that, I'm going to take the pills that are in the boss room, because if we get bad trip, then we would lose that soul hearts. 
What do you do? See forever, that's good. Puberty, all right, double puberty. And, Bill, we already know, cool. Oh, really? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Let's see how this blood machine goes. Lucky Penny, that's good. Um, I'm gonna bomb right here. Cool. Uh, and then I'm gonna go down to the store and check that out, because I could definitely get an item here. Starter deck is pretty decent. I'm gonna take that. Our pill pool has shown itself to be okay. But all pills now being cards will probably be better than that. Yo, thank you all for your generosity during that hype train. Appreciate it very much. Nukes are painful. Thanks for uh, two months, dude, and fly bat worm. Thanks for an awesome nine. Now, before we do anything else on this floor, too, I'm going to hit the temperance machine one more time. Uh, this way, if we get a bloody combat room on the alternate floor, which is pretty likely, uh, we can... Enter that with our soul heart. Okay, IV bag is spectacular on Samson, because if we have red hearts and soul hearts, we can use our red heart resource to boost up damage at the start of the floor. Awesome. Let's go. Hey, great rain. What's up, Captain Hoffman? What a what a great start to another great week. All right, let's fix up this look here. Okay, we can't remove the puberty pill effect. Can do that and that. There we go. Looking great, kid. Styling on him. Okay, there is no bloody combat room here. Noted. Uh, Jackal, we're doing Mega Satan runs today, and for the foreseeable future, we're playing. Gonna try to get Mega Satan completion marks done on all characters, so I can then um, reinstall the Always Void mod. Well, okay. I'm thinking using this book here is not going to give us a horseman boss on the this floor. We take this right now, we're getting at least two soul hearts off of it. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna take it. Let's find out how this works on this floor as well with uh, the boss. Curious. Mirror room should be fire in here then. No. All right, who's the boss? Okay, yeah, it's not a horseman. Dude, you hit me several times. 
Yo, we still got a god room. Beautiful. Eight. Um, alright. It's kind of an awkward spot to fight the angel, but here we go. Oh, cool. We got blue angel first. That's nice. Ooh, he fires over the fires. I believe it. E piece one get. I don't have a bomb for that, or I'd do it. I would. Okay, okay. I might. Not yet, but... Good enough. Where's this white fire at? There it is. I'm gonna fight the mini boss, then we're gonna do the alternate floor. We're gonna see what our health situation is. Ooh, that's a spike right there, sir. <laughs> oh, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Dead cat? Nah, dude, nah. Check out this room, too. Whole lot of nada in here. when the next patch is going to come for this game. It's been a couple weeks, so a couple weeks before the last patch, too. I would guess any day now. Probably another one. Before we do that, though... Get on that one. To the moon. Moon's actually interesting. I want to use that in the alternate floor. I should not have gone in here, but I did. Uh, nukes are payable. The patch logs are usually pretty extensive. You can read them on the Steam Workshop if you want. Mostly bug fixes and stuff. Sometimes some balance things, too. There's only been two patches so far since release. You know, normal patch stuff. Ooh, I almost got him in that first swing there. Cool, dude. Get shredded, then get deaded. Hey, Shatterball, thanks for 48 months. Thank you, thank you. I think the main, uh... Main patch that people are waiting for is... Seven cents Steam sale. Uh, the fix for the broken crown unlock. Made one. Um, so I really like the idea of the boss. We get a really OP trinket. In fact, I should take this in case we get. Uh, I guess gold pill is not possible, but smelter is. I'm gonna buy this at least. Let's go to the secret room right now. Let's see what's up. Raise the sun, judgment, and chariot. What kind of judgment's gonna drop in here? Okay. Okay. Now we're cooking.
Teleport you to an extra boss room with extra loot? I like these. Yeah, I'm sure Birthright getting updated is going to be in some patch as well. Although I'll say the game's in a very good state right now. It does have some glitches, as all games do. Got him. Yo! It's like this beggar dropped an extra item. It's so cool. Wheel of Fortune? Okay, dude. That was pretty spectacular there. Cat of Nine Tails and Ceremonial Robes. Okay. Well, in that case, I will drop the Book of Rev. See we get here, I guess, as, as good of a trinket as we can get uh, if we're going to be using this extensively. Uh, Neuter, if that happens to you again, uh, you can just open the dev console and spawn a fool card to get out. No more of that. Another card, Wheel of Fortune. I'm gonna grab. You do have to enable the uh, dev console in the uh, INI file, just the one that's in the My Games folder, but then when you hit tilde, you get this menu, and you can spawn cards or do basically anything in the game. So if you get uh, soft locked for whatever reason, the only uh, current persistent soft lock in this game right now is uh, the Emperor card we just used. Uh, can teleport you to the mom's foot and it doesn't spawn a door out, so you get stuck in there. I'm guessing that'll be fixed in the next patch, too, but that's a, that's a way around that. You're basically just making the door out of the room. Okay. No, dev console does not stop achievements. Nord is modding after you've defeated the foot. Oh, lighter's cool. It's no... It's no no. Get back here, you wily critter. Okay. Interesting. There's extra damage for every missing heart container, which... I mean, to be honest, I'm not really going to do. All good. Oh, dude. Calm down with that. Chariot? I'll take Chariot over Wheel of Fortune. We can see there's a decent spot to use the Hermit here. What does Samson have done? Samson has Boss Rush, but not Hush.
Uh, not every trinket has a doubled effect, Malarthy, because you can't double an effect that's already 100%. This would be a good example of that. Uh, Tim and Dandy, I really um, don't care about the different balance changes and stuff like that. I'm just interested in playing the game as it is, if that makes sense. I don't feel any which way about the changes that they've made. That seems like a path of suffering. Okay, let's go ahead and go through here. Sorry, I should say path of suffering for me personally. I just like to enjoy things as are. Uh, nothing wrong with being uh, being critical or being a critical person. It's just not me. Okay, all these trinkets we've got right now have just been pants, man. Except... Ants trinkets. All right. Um, I'm just gonna use Hermix to save my key here. Okay. Battery buddy, cool. Battery buddy could get interesting if I do find the smelter because I need to smelt five trinkets onto my character to receive the marbles item and unlock the pika challenge is one thing um that needs to be done on this save uh well, thing, as far as i've seen the way trinkets work are that it spawns trinkets not twice so it'll only spawn a trinket once until it gets all the way through the trinket pool again the trinket pool is somewhere over 200 right now so it's very unlikely you would see every trinket in the game on a single run but in most cases you will not see a duplicate trinket until you've exhausted the pool completely okay going down So that works a little bit different than items where items you want to touch them to remove them from the pool. Trinkets are automatically removed when they spawn because it's basically working through a list as far as I can tell. Thank you, Hess9. You're right. If I do want to find Smelter, I should drop the no trinket before entering. I don't think this is the run where I get the, uh, the five trinket sculpt. But that's a, a fair call. Melter is, as far as I know, a shop-only item. So that'd be our only chance to get it. Bone heart could lead to some interesting stuff. We get a sack room here. Who's in here? It's definitely possible um, that you don't have to touch items again for them not to appear, but uh, I've been double butter being too many times in my lifetime to break that habit. Okay, more tier 8. Awesome. No god room, though. Where's my god room? Blister's actually pretty good. 
So as an idea fire pixie, this is completely just hypothesis. I'm not sure on this, but it is possible that the stores are generated and then the trinket is applied. Uh, so I think it's possible that dropping the trinket before the store can still make space bar spawn. So we can science this out real quick by uh, finding our store, dropping the trinket, and entering, and if there's any spacebar items in there, then we know it's a conversion from the trinket after it's generated, and dropping the trinket reverts it back to the original spawn. Rib of Greed? Okay, I can take that before we go in the store. That'll be nice. So we'll stop Greed from being there. This would be a special case, though, if it was Greed, that if it removed the Greed fight from this, it would generate a new store. So that kind of breaks our little science experiment here. Uh, Jalobi, as long as you have completed Mom's Foot once, achievements will not block, be blocked by uh, mods. That's all mods. Oh, well, there is a space bar item in here. True. Right. Strength's a nice card to have. What's this card, do you think? Double strength. I like the idea of double strength. I can get really big doing that. Black rune, really? All right, so uh, this black rune. When did I unlock black runes here? Hmm. This black rune can absorb items like the void, so it'll give us two stat ups for every item we could pick up in the room. I think I'm just going to take Rip Agreed with me now for that reason. A lead pencil is very good. Every 15 tiers we fire, we get a massive spew like Monstro's Lung. Yes, we could buy the uh, jar in the store and black rune it, but I think we can do much better. Where is the secret room? Interesting. Well, there's not that many locations left. Not in here. Not going to be off the starting room either. What the heck? Or I should say it's usually not off the starting room. And we're off. Bone heart container in Sam's is great because we can boost up our damage with it without losing devil or god room chance using red hearts.
Don't worry, he's getting all the junky trinkets out of the way. That's all we're doing. Faded Polaroid lets us open the beast door. Um, we already got beast done here, though. We have beast done on most of the normal characters, because I think we only had one or two failures to kill the beast on unlocking the Tainted's. Ice room. I like dice. What's up? Okay, three room is actually pretty cool. Free room is a reroll of all consumables on the entire floor. Yeah, it's a classy mod, Vinny Velvet. On track from below. I'll sign in blood. I got plenty of it. Can I just wipe my face on it? Okay. Satan didn't like that. Oh, snap. I did that. Uh, Rogue Mike, um, Tainted Grail, not so much. Uh, last spell looks really good. However, it's very early and early access. So I'd like to see a lot more before I play it. So we'll, I'm going to keep my eye on the development of last spell for sure, but... Um, at this very moment, no. Alright. Uncle Baby's pretty cool. Go ahead and donate a little bit here. Lock maybe some godroom chance, huh? Uh, there we go. Oh, dude, Mythic Applesauce, sorry for not seeing you today. Thanks for 54 months. Shatter will 48, and you just got pwned. Thanks for nine months, man. Okay, probably going to use key here because I can. Ooh, Brainworm is a very nice trinket. There's a couple I'd replace this with, but not too many. Hell yeah! That's an item, man. Tier rate as well. We're capped on tier rate. Uh, Stolly, the way contract from below works is if an item drops as a result of a room clear reward. That item is doubled, so if a double bomb dropped, you get two sets of double bombs. Hope that makes sense. Oh, did anybody see the X skull? I don't think we've seen it yet. It's going to be right before the boss room here. No, it's not. Okay. Where were you, X-Skull? Let me drop this crap out here. Yo, E-Caliber, thanks for 17 months. One more for that year and a half. You rock. Near the curse room, yeah. Okay. There it is, good eye. Oh, 
Okay, we're good. Hmm, I would like the strength card for boss rush. I guess we'll take the black rune down with us. So let's go ahead and bite mama. Okay, I got fool in the back pocket. Good. Good. Oof. Damage is pretty good without strength card. All right, what are we doing on this one? Uh, let's go ahead and go negative. The run's going pretty well, so we'll take the harder route. Flap. Give me that. Give me that. Um, bum friend, free lemonade. I'm going to do this anyways. There's not really an incentive here. Other than to see stuff die. And the item we get after boss rush. But let's be honest, doing 15 waves of boss rush for one random item. That's an unnecessary risk. Bum friend could be cool later too, though. Could be. Get to fish some more trinkets here too. It's not all bad. Man, brainworm on that lead pencil, pretty sick. Oh, that's an interesting trinket. Double follower tier rate. I don't think it's better than brainworm though. Oh, look, there's a dark rock right in the middle there. Neat. Neat. Oof. Monstro. It's happening. Okay. Lip. Our uh, bloodlust damage is full now. 21 damage. Uh, no, cool, cause this is a fresh save, so we're, um, I'd say we're well over the halfway mark. We're about 410, uh, achievements with a lot of Polaroid stuff to go or post it. Well over three quarters on my original save, but we started this when we came back from Fragments Vacation. And, uh, in no rush to get full completion, just enjoying the runs. Right now, my current objective is to get uh, Mega Satan complete on all characters, and then we'll go from there. Yo, Hot Dog Loop Shoot, thank you so much for that 20 gift sub package. Extremely generous of you. Thanks so much, man. We appreciate that. Okay, um, I'm going to take the telescope lens. This is like two chances, about 20% chance for a planetarium on the next two floors. I appreciate that a lot again, Loop Shoot. Thanks for that big generosity. Coda Rocks, thanks for 24 months. Thank you, thank you. No. No. Let's get the lead pencil out of there, huh? There we go. Back to your googly eyes. Looking good, kid. Looking good. Crown back on there. Little blue cap. There we go. Working. Let's go over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not even going to D20 this floor. Coda Rocks, thanks for two years once again. And Loop Shoot dropping another 20 gift subs. Holy guacamole. 
Thank you so much, dude. 40 in the last five minutes. What does it mean? Go ahead and go down here. Going down. Alright, this build should definitely be able to handle Hush. I'm missing the Brainworm already, but the uh, potential planetariums kind of excited. I've only gotten a handful of planetariums in Repentance, maybe eight. So I'll take I'll take two chances at a eighteen percent drop. Count me in. nice they do if you have the telescopic lens trinket cool kitties that's part of it why we took it I feel like somehow the brainworm extended our range out Okay, okay. We're doing it. <laughs> Thanks, Angry Fly. Jawbreaker is, like, pretty good here, too, so we get a pretty decent chance at two-shot. But I'm going to keep gambling with this. Not sure it would make me drop the lens. There's a couple things, though. Gonna clear down hallways here, uh, check for the planetarium chance. And once we get to the next floor, we can actually drop the trinket, no problem. This will be our last chance for it. That's cool. I'm just gonna black rune here. Let's go. If I don't black rune here, we're gonna get stuck. Holding on to it forever. Take that, little poops. All right, just one hallway to go here. Oh, man, that's a pretty nice one, too. Uh, no, Kenny Jungle, this content is made for adults. Though I'm sure in comparison to some other content on Twitch, it seems very family-friendly. That is not the case. My content is not for children. I'm sure many people uh, with parental guidance uh, do entrust their children to watch my stream, because I don't swear very much, and I have a zero-tolerance policy for bigotry and things. It's amazing how having a few basic standards for behavior... Um, Makes people think your stream is family friendly. Not a complaint. Just an observation. Let's go ahead and check out the cursed room.
Dude, Lube Shoot going absolutely ham. Thanks for 20 more gift subs, dude. Thank you. Sixty today, unreal. Don't know what I did to deserve that, but thank you so much, Loop. Right. Going down? Alright, now we can drop uh, drop this. Planetariums will always be at the end of a hallway. Oh, I should have made a poop bridge right there, but I didn't. The Emperor card. I'll hold on to that. Two of Hearts is a very nice heal. Rack dies a little weird. All right, here we go. I'm in a full clear here looking for the possible planetarium. Only an 18% chance, but it's my chance to take. Since planetariums only spawn at the end of hallways, uh, very similar to boss rooms, in fact, um, we got to clear the whole floor. Soul of Samson, okay. No, thank you. It's a planetarium. Well, I'm thinking about. It. I actually had this thing about this last uh, about last night, the night before. Um, going back to the uh, family friendly thing, how my stream is not family friendly, though uh, many people allow their younger children and stuff to watch my stream because it's um, uh, less swearing and stuff like that. Um, I was thinking about. The different types of content uh, on the internet. I think the main thing that separates this content from other content is the lack of like meme -y jokes and stuff. And the reason I've always steered away from those is because while memes can be very funny, they're inherently edgy, right? A lot of the humor in memes is edgy. And when you start getting into that edgy humor territory, you start writing the line of being offensive. Which can be funny uh, in a lot of applications, but for a purpose of people to hang out, not so much. So while my content is not family friendly or family oriented, my target audience for my stream is that people that need a place to relax. Had a shitty day at work, had a very difficult interpersonal conflict, uh, just worked a double shift over a hot grill. Uh, I want those people to come to my stream. No, there's not going to be any uh, fuckery, for lack of a better term. That's not in judgment of any other content or styles, but that's what I target with my stream, is that people have a place to come 
that's gonna be chill. Not gonna be people repeating the same jokes they read on Reddit and posting memes and shit posting. All that's good and well. Uh, I think it's important that places exist online that are devoid of that as well. I hope that clarifies further uh, the question that was asked and what I'm trying to provide with my content is successfully provided because people also enjoy that environment. Hell yeah, get blapped, mom. Fighting baby? That sounds cool. Yes, a monumental amount of people watch during exam time. I'm glad I'm glad this stream is a place they can uh, get away from that for a bit. Going down. Yo, Timma, thanks for 19 months. Raycoon, thanks for 80. And Blueberry Man, thanks for 84. That is seven years elusive drop in 1,500 bits as well. Heck yeah, dude. Okay, compass is cool. Uh, mom's bottle of pills? I guess we're moms now. A full card emperor. Now we're taking this. Um. What does this look like right now? I mean, it looks cool. Oh, crap, Koneko Ninja. I didn't even think about the Immaculate Heart with uh, Ipecac. It's not really good here for damage because we have Proptosis, but, um, but thank you for saying that so when I get Ipecac next time, I don't do that to myself. All right, let's go here. Damage is pretty good, pretty good. Oh, are we getting blockers here off of this? What is going on? Why am I not taking damage? A little confused here. I think I just dodged real good on accident. That'll happen. Okay, yeah, it's just dodging real good. Got it. Just find the dead zone here. It's right about here. Yep, there's the dead zone. Christopher Watkins here to hold our hand. way more damage than I would have liked, and that's okay. I'm gonna hang in there. Can't believe standing still worked on that. Mm 
Okay, Blind Rage has appeared in the basement. That is also a trinket. Uh, L1, M1, the dead zone it actually moved in the... Uh, um, you get to find the... Words are hard right now. So when Hush starts the purple beam attack, if the tears are slow, the easiest way to find the dead zone is to use like a drowsy pill in this room. Uh, then you'll see that the purple tears that he spawns are really more like three lines, more than a lot of wavy tears. So if this is Hush's body, uh, I go to the lower third and then step away... I don't know, about two-thirds pace. So you find the line in between uh, the second and third set of tiers, and then you position yourself so you're also between the second and third set of tiers on the up and down attack. But the first step to figuring out where it is is to find, uh, position yourself in between the lines of tiers on the first attack, and then adjust left and right from there. Good luck. It's a toughie. I guess we're taking Cracker Jacks now. Okay. Going down. See if I can, like... Can I run him into Angry Fly somehow? Yeah, sure can. Nice. That's interesting. I mean... I probably won't find anything better, and it will be a pretty significant stat up. Guess I'm in. Who's left? Spodemons. Bonds one item from the current room's item pool turns one red heart container or two soul hearts into a broken heart. Can anybody describe how the broken heart mechanic works? Child's heart's also interesting. Okay, so it just blocks a heart container slot, so you'd be at 11, 11 heart containers with the, uh, with that. That's not too bad. I mean, to get a, an item spawn in a secret room, I'm down. I am down. Alright, game-breaking bug, fine. Oh, that's right. Confessionals remove the broken hearts. Thank you. Learning so much today. Uh, read the moderation conversation in chat. I'll be the first to admit I make mistakes in moderation. I've made thousands of them in my career. We do have a timeout ban channel question in the Discord if you ever have any questions regarding uh, moderation or why something happened. Very often, uh, miscommunication is a cause of timeouts and stuff. So as I always say, never personal if you get timed out making sure it's enjoyable for everybody, myself included.
Yeah, you can double tap to release Game Breaking Bug now, is how it works. It's pretty cool. I don't see myself ever using Game Breaking Bug um, all that extensively, but... It'd be really good on, like, a run that was going terribly. <laughs> One of those items. You can't use it once per room, though. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, has nine in dark room. This is gonna be nice because we can reroll stuff into chests potentially to get more items. I like it. I'm gonna grab this soul heart back here. Sweet Samsonite, the kid's doing it. Gherkin, Whopper, what a name, what a player. Thanks for three months of Prime. Dilmore, thanks for 23 months. For the lane, thanks for 49. And IS Tech Geek, thanks for 79 months. All right, this kid needs a moist towelette stat. There we go. We cleaned up that face. Looking good, kid. Amazing what a moist towelette can do for a kid. I am definitely taking Guppy's tail with six luck. This should mean a lot of chest drops on our clear here. And they'll be doubled. Hell yeah. Spoon bender. Boom. Man. Yo, Chell Dog, thanks for 38 months. Enjoy that lurk. Yeah, Aquarius with homing looks so rad. So Aquarius now picks up player effects, so our creep pool is going to be creeping towards enemies. Real spoopy-like. This is a trinket I will absolutely replace the bulb with. Boogie tier is very excellent on the Mega Satan fight, which we're going to. You know, Grizz Slam, I'm not even going to refute that statement. I think you're right. That the Nose Goblin is better than 90% of items. I agree. We can make our tiers into things that can deal damage for 60 seconds based on our damage, or based on the damage of the tier generated. It's very nice. I need to slow my roll here. A little dumpy, fine. Join the team, bud. Little Loki is going to be firing mm, at an okay rate. Where did my two of hearts go? Did I drop it? Dang. What's this? Invokes the Bible effect, grants Seraphim familiar for 30 seconds. Eh. I did drop the Nose Goblin, thanks. Gotta be in here? Yeah. Black Feather's also okay if you have the right items. Usually, um, on the, the previous save, or the original save. Oh, hell yeah, that's a good one for Mega Satan right there. Um had Black Feather save a really low damage run. We had, like, all evil items, but no damage. That was a weird one. Ow. But, sir, I'm just a little feller. Uh, Should have re-rolled one of those with a uh, game-breaking bug. Oh, well. Ow. 
probably, well, let's re-roll this, see what happens. Again. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Justice. Cool, it's going to be a reroll room. Not convinced this build's going to do, like, super awesome on Mega Satan. I'll take it. Strength card's going to be a big help, though. It's like a drowsy pill and a strength card combined, more or less. Might be our saving grace here. Oh, Papa Fly here to join the team. Wow, we got Loki and Mom's Eye? Got some stuff happening here. I think we'll be okay on Mega Satan, too. I've just squandered a bit of my health, that's all. Nothing like a good squandering. Oh, man, that Aquarius creep. So strong. If we uh, get the Delirium Portal after Mega Satan, I'll try for it. Say this build with Proptosis, a little unlikely to kill Delirium, but it's possible. Nice, cool. Decap attack. It's not bad, but... Actually, decap attack on Mega Satan might not be bad. Rose Isaac's head while being able to fire tears at the spot it lands. Reactivating the item or stepping on the head reattaches it. This is good, though, for Mega Satan. Especially with Proptosis, because I can throw the head right up on him. Should be a significant damage increase. Wafer? Oh, dope. Okay, that's very good. Yes, I would like double health, and Sissy Longlegs is here to save the day. No victory lap. Sorry, Sissy Longlegs is here to win the run, everybody. I'm going to try saving the strength card for potential delirium. Paranoid now for the landings for 49 months and shell dogness for 38 if I missed you earlier. Don't think I did, but if I did. Okay, uh, I was really before struggling to see how decap attack would work, and now I get it. I get it now. I do. Great with Proptosis. Okay. 
I should have picked this up and uh, throw it down in a better location. I want the ultimate in damages as close as it can get. A little further back then. There we go. That's the one. Oh my god, is it block tiers as well? Oh, ho, 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 ho. this is an awesome Mega Satan item. Love it. Yo, we got Delirium Portal as well. It's on. Going in. I'll allow it, Broken Scale. I'll allow it. Samson's Lock, another good one. Okay, so on this floor... Only one of these boss doors is going to be Delirium. we got to follow a few rules to figure out which one is and which one isn't. Um, the first rule we're going to follow is that the Delirium boss room is always this very large room. So it'll only appear as a one-by-one one on the map. So uh, we know if the room would expand, becoming this large two-by-two two room would bump into any other room or if it would make the map more than 13 tiles wide or long, the delirium does not there. Uh, this floor has a minimum of four bosses and a maximum of 10. Ace of Hearts. Okay, hold on. I'm going to find some rooms with a lot of enemies to hopefully get some soul hearts made. Yeah, we generally want to clear the entire floor for max items. Exactly. That's the that's the hope. Question card. Okay. This will be fine. Any soul hearts in here? Oh, that was a lot less enemies than I thought it was going to be. This will be okay. Black rune. Okay, that's stats. All right, our cards and stuff are on the bottom floor there. See if we can just find a room. Y'all see any dark rocks or anything? Feel free to say something. Okay, range up's good. Brawl space. Brawl space. Um. Okay, so this variation has been giving air rooms. And I believe in the case of Delirium Floor, air room will reset the floor. So we can full clear and then head into the air room to get a whole other Delirium Floor. Hmm? There's definitely uh, currently a glitch with those where black markets aren't appearing. It's giving air rooms instead. So let's give that a shot. Can Delirium be here? I don't think so. Make sure I leave with the strength card. All right, delirium is definitely not here. There's no way. Okay, I'm gonna black rune that. Stats, more luck. I don't think delirium can be this right boss room, but I'm also a little concerned it might be. 
I guess it's not supposed to touch any other room, so no, it will not be. It can't expand left or right without hitting something. Yes, yeah, so that's happened to me before. Sometimes when you're clearing the floor, you'll get some delirium flashing stuff going on. Yo, Titanite Night Chung, thanks for 24 months. Thank you, thank you. Go back and grab my cards. So if I ever see Delirium having his main form where he doesn't have boss armor, I'm going to chuck the decap attack at him and just go crazy. Not a single soul heart on the floor so far. Any soul hearts in here? Oh, look at that creep go! Love Aquarius with homing tears, so cool. Alright, this could be Delirium. Maybe. How many tiles is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't think so. Oh, I was wrong. Will this work? Got him. Here's up. Fine. Who's this? That was Curved Horn. I think Booger Tear is still much more effective overall, but flat damage up of 2.4? Not bad. So that Delirium fight made the map exactly 13. Um, needed to be more than 13 to be blocked off. I learned a lesson. Alright, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go fight this last boss. I'm going to run up to the crawl space. We're going to go to the air room. We're going to redo the floor again, because we can. I really don't even think we need to at this point. It's just uh, something I want to do. Don't get many opportunities to redo the void floor and get more boss items. Cool note on this floor as well is that... Yuck. Actually, with these bombs, not so yuck. Items can drop from any pool in the game in these boss fights, so you can get some really powerful stuff. Maybe not planetariums, but... Most things can drop here. Ooh, okay. Let's do it again. It was so fun. Pretty confident I could defeat Delirium right now, but hey. You know what, kid? You don't need a moist towel. You look great just the way you are. I've not actually entered one of these. Yeah. Have not entered one of these as uh, in repentance, so I've been fearful of those air rooms. 
Arums aren't necessarily bad, but if you're trying to take a specific path through the game, uh, like sometimes if you wanted to go, let's say, up here, only a door down would spawn, and that's tough. Hey, I could actually teleport out of here if I wanted to. If gift item. Brimstone beams do not hurt you from your own bombs. No, only the initial explosion. So nice, we're gonna do it twice. Looking good, kid. Looking good. What is this card on our head right now? This thing? Okay, let's get that off of there. Alright, on this clear through, I'm not going to be near as concerned about full clearing. If something looks like it's blatantly a delirium door, uh, I'm not going to take it. But if it's like, eh, maybe, I'm just going to walk in. More health. Ow. This has been a very first, uh, fun first opening run after that uh, absolute gauntlet of greedier we've done the past few streams. All characters are completely finished uh, for greedier now except for uh, Tainted Cane, which will be a later project. It's a nice card just to hold on to, so, you know, what if? Yeah, if the beams on the Brimstone Bombs hit you, I don't think I'd be taking Brimstone Bombs very often. Who's this? Oh, man, get Aquarius out of existence, dude. Oh, hell yeah. There's nothing bad about Tainted Cane, Fast as Panda. It's just a different style character. Uh, it's the crafting one, so you can collect items to craft any item you want. His unlock for Greedier is just not very good, is why I didn't do him. Will be one of the last things I do. Um, probably do like a super long run where we craft Arky or something uh, to do most of the achievements in one run. Oh, there's nothing inherently wrong with Tainted Kane. I'm glad he's in the game. My use things for a 34 and Fast as Panda 85 months, 15 for that 100 club. I'm gonna make it, man. I suppose it's a possibility, uh, I guess, if you had the card that created a crawl space and you had blank card, you could try to force multiple air rooms, though uh, that'd be a stretch. All right, let's go ahead and grab mom's eyeshadow. Sure. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to break Tainted Cane runs. So, uh, Tainted Cane is in the game, I think, for two very important purposes. Uh, the first purpose is to give people an outlet to get some of the tougher item challenges done, like four ball of bandages, for uh, super bandage, uh, making super bum, um, and some of the other weird item style challenges can be accomplished pretty easily for him. A second really nice use of Tainted Cane is if you're wanting to get around doing a run on a specific character, let's say Tainted Lost, 
you could start as Tainted Cain and then craft all of the items you want. Holy Mantle, Dead Cat, uh, Sacred Heart, whatever build you wanted. And then you can click her over to Tainted Lost. I'm sure there's a mod for that if that's how you want to play Tainted Cane Crab Rail. Ooh, Arrow Walk and Strength is going to be a very slow delirium. Interesting you can't craft the um, bandage items. So I guess what you would do... Um, I guess what you do is craft Book of Revelation on Tainted Cane to get that one. That doesn't seem too bad. You just craft the book and then fight the horseman. Oh, here's a secondary question uh, offshoot on that one. Um... If you start with one ball of bandage, can you craft potato peeler to make more, or does it make cube of meat and bandage? Eh, no astral projection for me. I think the Bandage Girl and Meat Boy achievements are slightly different. There's got to be an easy way or a quote easy way to do uh, the ball of bandages. Right Unseen Dagon, you click her into another character first. Andy Tomo, thanks for 500 bits. Nighthawk, thanks for 46 months. Andrea, 38. Magic Rollers, 13. And Casually Challenged, thanks so much for that gift. Ah, yes, Box of Friends. That's the one. That's the one. So, start by crafting Book of Rev um, on Kane. Get the Ball of Bandage drop, clicker to Lilith, and then just go ham with some batteries. Seems legit. I suppose doing Greed Mode with Lilith till you get Ball of Bandages could also be an out on that one. Maybe it'll just happen naturally for us, huh? We've got a long way before that's a concern. Oh yeah, instead of click... Clickering to Tainted Lilith, just crafting Box of Friends would be the way to do it. And swap character, pick up the bandage, and go. Easy peasy. Alright, this is going to be Delirium, the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> hour 24 minutes, nice. Excuse me, sir, you're looking pretty slow there. Hold on to this for me. Oh, look at that chunky monkey. Oh, dude. Dude. Okay. Alternate strength card is really freaking good on this fight. Okay. I understand. GG. And that definitely calls for some dapper time. Fun, fun opening run today. It was a good one.
GG. All right, let's swap over the tainted wheel here. Let's try to do uh, tainted Isaac to make it Satan now. Sounds cool. The tainted Isaac has only eight item slots, twelve if you get birthright, but he gets multiple item choices, which we'll demonstrate here. Um, I'm gonna take a uh, little chub here. When you get to eight items, you can choose which one to drop. You can also pick up health items and then drop them later and keep the heart container. But you can't do that infinitely. Yo, thank you all for that hype train. I <laughs> hope you enjoy your emo unlocks, you darn generous people. Literally couldn't do this without you. Amazing to think that uh, this January 6th is going to be uh, our 10-year full-time mark here on Twitch. I'm normally normally off in the first week of January uh, because we do our Fragmas uh, winter from December 1st through 31st. But as a special part of this Fragmas, we're going to be doing a little event. So uh, basically, uh, if you were here for our summer Fragmas like a month and a half ago, uh, we ended with a subathon uh, with some incentives. And for this winter Fragmas, we're also going to do uh, kind of a subathon style thing. But for the entire month, December 1st through 31st, uh, all subs, resubs, and all that stuff is going to add additional days to Fragmas. So there's going to be up to an additional week of Fragmas, this winter Fragmas, leading into our 10 year stre stream anniversary on January 6th, which we'll have a little event too. But looking forward to that. Hey, short sack. Thanks for 60 months and net owl. Thanks for that prime sub, dude. Thank you. Yeah, Talarian, if you're full up on items, there is not a downside to picking up items and then putting them down later. Exactly. There might be an exception to that rule, but I think your thought process is correct. There's uh, very little downside to picking up and putting down items on this character. Soap or range? I want soap right now. Going down. The only complication with that, Talarian, is you must, um... You must be full on items to drop an item. So we have to reach the eight item limit here in order to put something down. Okay, you can back off, sir. You can back off. Back off. I don't want any spicy meats.
Well, little Chubbs being a freaking hero here. Space bars are separate from the uh, AI slots. Activatables, uh, you have the normal limit of one. Jump or ball of tar? I'm going to take jump right now. Jump will let us get stuff behind gaps. It's also one out of three bookworm. Uh, Von Rothave, uh, just, that's a great question. Uh, Von Rothave asked what would happen if you picked up the school bag item got two actives and then dropped the school bag. Based on my experience re-rolling builds, like transforming your build when you have school bag and losing it, is once you use an item, the other one falls off, like disappears. So I'm guessing you would lose the item at some point. Yes, Void is very good on Isaac, because then you can gain stats from items you're not going to use anymore. Abyss, too. The uh, the red fly generating one from Tainted Apollyon. Our last Mega Satan victory on Tainted Isaac on the previous save was indeed a Void run. Um, I do like Terror Reading as an item, but let's be real, we're not going to keep that. That's not fitting into an 8-item limit. <laughs> not even close. Wow, little Chubb's an absolute shredder here, man. Ow. Ow. More tier 8, I'm in. Alright, let's go ahead and take a little risk here. Okay, Aegis Fang, uh, let, me, let me read this real quick. Uh, it says, when I did it, I had two active items, and all it would do is drop the second active item and also refresh it like you never picked it up. Okay. So it does physically drop the item on the ground. Yo, nice user. Congrats on that completion of all of your greedier unlocks. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, so I'm gonna do this. Might die here. Screw or divorce papers? Um... I think I'm just going to take Screw. No, this is a better tier rate up. And it protects us a little bit. Well, for actually, the reason we're doing that for these runs is because we're specifically going for Mega Satan. But I do think you're right that the meta of Isaac right now, most players are skipping Devil Deals on the first one. And that's because of the guaranteed God Room that you get uh, on your next room spawning. I think that's a, a natural consequence of... having less health available in the game now uh god rooms don't cost health where devil deals do that's probably also further amplified by the case that most players that are streaming isaac are doing win streaks and stuff like that so giving up the health is considered more risky so I think the power level of god and devil rooms right now is in a very good place meaning that uh Devil rooms are still very viable. They're just more risky.
still several uh, extremely good game-winning items in the Devil Pool. I don't want Montezuma's Revenge, thanks. Oh, there's another item there. Small rock, I'm in. All right, we're already capped on damage here. We're quite, or tier eight, we're quite slow. But now we can afford to drop um, an item. Cool. A little bit slow here. Um, Pandora's box could get good, but not for a minute. Not for a minute. Okay, going down. Go alternate floor here. I like seeing more items. Big hope right now we get birthright in the store. That'd be cool. Seems like bomb worthy. I can come back here with the loss though and do it for free. More black hearts appear. Okay. Oh, hell yeah, that's a good item. Honestly, three of the eight slots being held by syringes is a pretty good deal. There's birthright. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to increase our item limit to 12. And that is not a small increase. Give me that. Okay. I want to see what this card is. The world. Secrets next to curse. Yeah, birthright does not even take up a spot. It's just a straight up four increase. Oh, it's you. How you been? I hope you've been terrible. Have a nice day or don't. It's your choice. There's a boss I should not be um, fighting as the loss that I'm going to. Gonna chariot card the heck out of this guy. Um, I'm already capped on tier eight, but I guess I'm gonna take the health up here. We're already mega capped. This out. Removes oldest passive item, spawns two items from current room's item pool. Uh, our oldest passive item is Chubb. Okay. Well, if we take skeleton key here, we get to keep the key. It's uh, in here. I think Shielded Tears is much better than Chaos, especially this early. And all the god rooms are going to see. I'm just going to solve the key conundrum here. That's an item we can freely drop later on with no consequence. We just get all of the resource from it. Cool, cool. Uh, 
let's go take a risk now. Power level wise, I think Shielded Tears is one of the best items in the game. Clean this kid up. There we go. Chaos has all the potential in the world, but it's usually not very good. I guess this thing doesn't count. I'm just gonna look, check it out. It does not count towards the items fair. I guess that could be a potential sacrifice later. Never grab that unless I'm taking that route, but go. He's down. He's down. Um, okay. Guess I'm taking Mr. Squeeze. We got all the tier eight items right now. Every last one of them. That's not true. We got a lot of tier eight, though. man cool floor let's get out of here feeling nice soy milk would actually be really good right now all right excuse me for just a moment we're two hours in just going to refill my water and use the restroom real quick and then we will continue this run
All right, we're back. Noise cat, thanks for nine months. Sorry for not seeing you sooner there. Carnosaur with 103 net owl. Welcome to the dapper with Prime. I'm doing a terrible job of getting to your notifications today. Sorry about that. Got humanitis myself. Yeah, I think instead of looking at uh, the skipping devil thing uh, is in terms of always best and worst, probably just better to look at it as a situational thing, dependent on your goals for the run. Like, if you're doing win streaks, then you can probably uh, start thinking in more concrete terms about what's statistically best. But if you've gotten two health up items and not many other items on your run, Devil Deal's looking pretty strong. But if you don't have any health, then skipping the Devil Deal makes a lot more sense. I don't know, I always feel bad when I uh, miss subs and resubs and stuff. I think it's hard, hard ingrained in me uh, as a broadcaster. My apologies. Reading and interacting with chat uh, has and will continue to be one of the most important parts of broadcasting for me. What I enjoy the most is what drew me to live streaming uh, almost 10 years ago. Being able to have a conversation, discuss game mechanics and stuff is awesome. Always more to learn and more to share. What's in here? Ooh, stuff I like. That's what's in here. Cool. Now let's check out the store before I decide if I'm blood banking or demon begging. Yo, Capper321, thanks for 81 months. Cruising, always a pleasure to see you, Capper. Thanks for being an awesome part of the channel community, dude. Mom's Purse. Both of these are very mediocre style, and we already have Jump, which is kind of like Ladder. Leaning towards a Noper on that one. That also makes me more lean towards Demon Begs. Could donate some coins here for additional God Room chance, too actually kind of getting to the point where I can't donate anymore because the machine's so full. That's a nice problem to have. <laughs> We're at 976 on the machine right now. Who's this? I like this guy. It's easy. Ish. The only time this boss fight, as I take damage, um, forms a real problem is if you have an ultra low damage build. That's when it gets me. Ultra low damage. But what boss is easy with ultra low damage? Oh, man. I really want the damage up, but old bandage with this arcade that's showing could be such a huge increase. All right, no, I'm taking Cat of Nine Tails. Not only does this give us more damage and shot speed, it makes our tiers much larger, which makes shielded tiers even more effective.
compound fracture I'm in. This is very good with Shielded Tears 2. Did this override Shielded Tears? No, it's still going to block. It's still going to block. I believe. Even if it doesn't block, splitting tiers are extremely good. If we... Here's a question I'm going to pose. If we did not have Birthright, what items would we drop right now? Um, looking like... I'd be dropping Skeleton Key and the Health. That's two. Probably dropping one of these tier rates since we're overstatted right now. Since we're going to have to make some decisions on items, I'm going to do this. I'm doing it. Yoinks. Let's take this chariot in there, too. Yeah, small rock to remove the speed down could be nice, too. Well, at least we're ready for our store, I guess. With no Angel Room having appeared yet, we may be not making Mega Satan on this run. Just gotta hope for it. Let's uh, clean up this kit here. What's up? There we go. Looking good, kid. Uh, Lord Josh, since we're capped on items, I don't think so. Though it's certainly something you could consider. If we had infinite space for items, the dropping of hearts for the combat room becomes a lot more uh, tempting. Going down. sure why I did that, but I chose to. A set of waves here. Okay, shielded tears still work. I saw it. What a set of waves. Ow. This pill do tears up. All right, so well, that's another tier item we can drop. We're not losing those stats, even though they're not sh improving. Like we're at the cap. Taking that tears up pill means we can drop additional tier item. Uh, young side step of the same reason we didn't do the bloody combat room. We're limited to 12 items on the character, and it's only floor 4 or 5. So we're going to see lots more items, and every time we get an item, we have to choose to drop something. So just saving that resource for later.
Okay, I got 100% chance for God Ring because it did not show up naturally there. Mm. I believe it. Royal Rocks and Room could be good somewhere. Seeker room there. It's looking like it. Tough room. Uh, I would have taken the blood bag for speed up. That's really what I was shooting for. It's less about the heart containers and more about the speed stat. As blood bag often is. Cleaver and Zodiac. I think I'm just going to leave both of these here. I'm not... Not wanting Taurus. Oh, okay. Zodiac's fine for now. Okay. Going back up this way? We're not... I do like portable slot. What card is this? Uh, Lovers is the one that spawns two items from the current room pool. I think I'm going to go into the secret room and check that on out. Depths one or two. Depths one. And also a lover's card inside of the uh, <laughs> the god room. Seeker room has such good stuff though, including Arky. Um. Okay. More tier rate, amazing. Huh. Immaculate Conception could allow us to generate more followers. I'm going to guess if you drop Immaculate Conception after the followers are generated, you still get to keep them. Okay, let's grab the key piece right now. Oh, what? What? What do I have that's breaking stuff? The hell? The hell? Zodiac. We got Zodiac uh, Leo. Leo is the item. Does anybody know the answer to this question if we get the... I still want Zodiac. Let's drop Soap. 
Okay. I guess we're going to find out. So now for picking up heart containers. Why would I do that to myself? Uh, picking up heart containers, we get angel-style followers. I think they're going to be permanently generated and not removed in this case. The trick is going to be creating a situation where we can pick up enough health to make it work. This is where having that old bandage uh, previously would have been real nice. All right, let me read the tooltip on this item real fast. Spawns one item from current room's item pool. Turn one red heart container or two soul hearts into a broken heart. Uh, okay, I thought it was two items. I'm good. I'm good. Alright, let's go. Going down? Hold on. Magician card. I'm gonna need Magician if we're gonna do boss rush. Okay, we got Taurus on this one, Joy. Okay, this could be the opportunity for Immaculate Conception to start paying off. Beautiful. This is the one I didn't want from Z uh, Zodiac, but we'll deal. Okay. Point 0.8 speed. Mm. That's an amount. situation. Good read. Okay, there's one heart. Any hearts we get on the floor are going to be put into those temperance machines and pick back up to start working towards Immaculate Conception. Every 15, 30, 60, and 90 hearts we pick up, it's going to spawn a permanent angel-style follower. Oh, hey, this is really good, too. Enforce my other key piece here. If we get health. Yikes room. Yikes room. At least some red heart dropped here. Um not gonna hurt anything. Hearts, please. I like dimes. That's definitely a rare room. Most certainly. 
Use a bomb over here. There's the X skull. Boss rush is a stretch with this build. I think I'm gonna try it anyways, though. Could even do a super aggressive play and drop some hearts on the sack room before I do boss rush. Range up. Blue hourglass. Hmm. Quick idea. So since everything's set in the game, I can check these temperance machines, see what they're gonna drop. Blood bag drop, cool. Oh, Papa Fly shows up too. Neat. I'm going to take this. The speed up is very relevant right now. Out of the other tier rate items we have, is there a better one to drop here? I don't really want to lose the damage on Small Rock right now. Okay, here we go. Gonna wait for Taurus here. They're really difficult room. Very compact for what it is. Just give us a quick check. The best thing that could happen here would be a super secret room full of red hearts. Super Secret Room's not south here. I'm not exactly sure. Health up? Okay, that's cool too, man. That's cool. Not there. Hmm. I 
how risky do I want to get? I'm guessing that the lipstick uh, is a chance for each red heart that drops to convert to a black heart. I think that's how that works. Okay, let's go check this out. Gonna do a boss rush here because if we have um, a bad boss rush, we can always blue hourglass. A nice item in there would be cool. Which I don't want to lose my bone heart container, ma'am. Gone. Is it a hairpin? Hold up. I think this is hairpin, which is a very interesting synergy with blue hourglass because we're going to get a recharge on the space bar when we enter the boss room now. So technically we could do this forever, you know, if we wanted to. I generally don't steal from Boss Rush unless I feel very desperate. And we also need the completion mark on this character. I don't think this build has any business doing boss rush, which is my favorite type of build to do boss rush with. Love a good challenge. Oh, God, we're a man. All right, all right. I'm going to go ahead and take uh, Polar right here. This, this run level is pretty weak, actually. Capricorn's a really nice all stat up that breaks the tier cap. Love it. Uh, what am I dropping here? Either Zodiac or... No, this health up's not doing anything anymore. Okay. Put a bomb here. Let's take this and then put a bomb down. There we go. Hourglass would not roll for the God Room again. It's already set. Whether it will appear or not, I'm pretty sure. You gotta go, dude. You gotta go. Are there any spikes in here? Oh, man. Okay, I want to keep these barrels intact if I can to make the most out of the health for Immaculate Conception. If I can. Oh, hey, adversary. How you doing? You gotta go, sir.
Thinking Sakurim might actually still be a possibility on this one. That was my barrel. I think Kyrian Queen is going to drop hearts for us here, I hope. Did I hit the sack room once here? I think I did. Not sure about time mode, Chef. There is one that displays the counter amount or boss rush counter, uh, which wave you're on. Yeah, we did hit the sack room once. So if I save these soul hearts and the bone heart container, uh, I should be able to get our key piece on this floor. I'm going to try to force it. I say that now, but this, uh, this boss rush could go horribly wrong, and then I won't. Howdy do, green feller. Oh, hey, what's up? Bear. Probably should have gone for a frail first here. Mega fatty death. Okay, death's got to go. What, in your opinion, do you think is the best uh, Angel-style follower to get from Immaculate Conception? I think Seraphim's pretty solid, Guardian Angel, uh, even Swarm Protector's pretty cool. There might be better than that, though. Alright, that was a wave. Red Angel's gotta go. Red Angel could actually uh, take out Chubb here. Holy water, there you go. That's the one. That's the one we want. Boss rush is 15 waves of two bosses each. Okay, relic's pretty decent too, sure. Uh, hell, so you can see a full list of mods reading by Exclam Mod or Exclam Mods in the chat. Uh, the one you're currently looking at is external item descriptions. Links to all of the uh, Steam Workshop mods uh, inside of that spreadsheet. I don't know why I'm going for Peep first here, but I made a choice. Whoa, th what ha why is there three double hearts now? Were th these weren't doubled before. The redoubling. Hate to do it, but I'm keeping this bone heart intact. Holy water is very good now. You are not incorrect. It is top tier. Oh, look at Summoner Gertie summoning an army of stuff for me to kill. Thanks, dude.
Didn't want to touch that soul heart yet, but I did, I did. Oh, I don't think Zodiac should have an effect here on doubling hard snow. It could have just been a drop from one of the bosses and I missed it. That's probably what happened. Oh, hey, Hunt. Is spawning some spiders? Cool, dude. Cool. I think I will end up installing the uh, boss rush counter eventually. Not yet. We'll do another round of mods um, sooner, soon enough. If you have any mod suggestions, you're more than welcome to drop them in the Isaac Repentance channel on our Discord. Appreciate your input. There's a lot of them. Yo, Destrina, we are getting close. 97 months. Three more for that 100 club. You're doing it. Yeah, Failsaurus, so there's a little trick to that. It's uh, if you walk in front of the mask, he will start charging. His movement speed increases slightly. And when his movement speed increases, he will not turn until he hits a wall, in most cases. So the trick is to bait the mask into charging at you and then, uh, then get behind it. The um, night enemies are very much the same way, that once they begin their charge, they're not going to turn. Uh, same thing with the chubs, too. Uh, often better to be a little proactive with those rather than uh, try to be reactive. Another bone heart container? Okay. Maybe should have left that in here, but I didn't. Ha <laughs> Who is this? Oh, Saken. Okay. Cool, dude. So there's something the mask can hit. It can be anything in the room. It could be a poop, a wall. Even if it hits, like, the uh, the item stand here, that stops the charging animation. Luckily, most of the time when you're fighting uh, Mask Infamy, that's not much of a concern. I think we got, like, two or three more waves after this. I don't know. It's been a slow boss rush. To be expected with a build of this uh, quality. Um, well, I do have items I can just drop at this moment that aren't doing anything. So let's put down Zodiac for Headless Baby. And let's Fool Card out of here. Okay. Now... We're gonna check out the sack room and see what happens here. Two. Uh, three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh! 50% damage increase. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of want to keep Headless Baby for potential conjoined. Oh, Swarm Protector is part of conjoined too. Interesting. We're just going to do this. So next is Troll Bombs. All right, now Uriel is going to be our next key piece.
Yeah, there we go. Oh, we got relic as well. Okay, okay. So I actually want to find a spot to take some damage here. Um, so I can pick up those soul hearts and get more work towards Immaculate Conception. This was a big turnaround on this floor. Um, how many soul hearts are left in there? Three? <laughs> All right, three. So that's what I'm, I'm sticking with. We also locked down our Mega Satan piece. Feels nice. Yo, what's up, Zephyrnaut? Jolly Roger, thanks for 68 months. Almost six years, dude. Can I touch this? Um, I'm going to bomb this because if I accidentally touch the spikes, it's a 50% chance to get teleported to the dark room. That would be a little bit unfortunate. Oh, that's true. We have a full soul heart and a half inside of boss rush. I'll just drop one here. I can pick up the half, then pick up the whole. Looking good. All right, let's go. Going down. Yes, Burn Love, when you use the hourglass, it resets you to the previous room state. So everything you did in the previous room no longer exists. Looking good, kid. Looking good. That'd be a really cool um, mod. There might be one, like a counter for Cambion and Immaculate Conception. And at the end of the day, you're going to do the same thing, but it would be cool to have a counter on it. Uh, taking the white heart container in boss rush would bring us to eight red hearts, which is more than I want, and we're already full health, so there's not really an upside to gaining another red heart container. Especially with Immaculate Conception, I'd like room to have soul hearts and red hearts. room is it? you know what um i'm bombing good no thanks on that one if i had one bomb i'd probably do that room otherwise no thanks I didn't mean to take two damage, but oh well. I've right, we got Relic. Just making some room, that's all. No idea how that wasn't damage. I don't need to know. What? What dropped the Soul Heart there? Excuse me? Doesn't feel like it should be relic. That was not. I was not after combat. Seraphim spawned the soul heart. I didn't know they did that. I guess I do now. Gold key, rad. Oh, okay. 
Seraphim spawn from conception and with it uh, goes there. Further clarification uh, coming in. When Immaculate Conception goes off, it also spawns a Soul Heart. So the Seraphim spawning came with a Soul Heart spawn. Right on. Mama Gertie. Gonna touch booster pack here. We get to see the cards with no downside. Pick this right back up. Okay, Joker, two of clubs, two of spades. Right on, man. Go ahead and two of clubs right now, two of spades, even though we have 99 keys, because, uh, you know, why not? What's in here? Wow. I don't want a brimstone here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, the collar and then I'm going to take size here. What am I dropping for size at this moment? I'm going to drop. Squeezy. Very nice. Take Joker with us. Blood bag's probably the next drop. Sure is nice to have access to 12 items. Going down. Uh, Flez, in this case, Brimstone is not necessarily a downgrade, but with having shielded tiers, getting piercing of the size means that we basically erase enemies' tiers as they happen. And we can do so in a continuous stream where Brimstone is an on-off fire. So you're, you're firing the Brimstone, charging, firing the Brimstone. Brimstone has a lot more synergies in Repentance, so I'm more likely to take it. Just in this case, I don't think it's an upgrade. There's some other situations like the uh, Ghost Pepper or Bird's Eye, where having a continuous tier stream is more beneficial than uh, having that on again, off again. I might do some arcade shenanigan here. We got the health. If I can get one more Babs procced on Immaculate Conception, I can probably drop that item too, is what I'm feeling. Super secret? God, it had that look, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. I know what I'm doing now. I'm just going to Joker card now. Actually, I'm going to Joker card later because I don't want to drop red hearts at this moment. We are in the business. I'm going to pick this up for Immaculate Conception. All right, everybody. Well, we have this nice arcade music here, and we're a little over three hours into our show. Just going to stand up, stretch my legs real quick, use the restroom, grab some water, and grab a very quick snack. My breakfast, in fact, uh, already prepared, thanks to my lovely wife. So it'll be about five minutes here, um, and we'll continue the show. If you do enjoy any kitties that may or may not appear during our brief intermission, we'll return momentarily. 
before I stand up here as well. Sankar saying, thanks so much for 30 months. Be back in just a couple minutes to continue the fun.
All righty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief intermission. Yeah, Penny, the bed's real soft, though. You touched it. It was soft, wasn't it? Appreciate your patience during that intermission while we got a, uh, a quick bite to eat, as we do around the same time every single broadcast. Let's head on in. All right, what's actually going on on this floor? We have a super secret room full of hearts. That's what's going on. Yo, Critty Cat, thanks for almost 70 months of support. Moving towards that one hundo indeed. This break the eternal heart? What happened there? Okay, it's not taking the eternal heart from me. Fine. What about this? No, it still doesn't. It needs a full heart. The squandering. It's always good to squander most of your health right before a really hard boss fight. The best time to do it. All right, I want to get one more. One more Immaculate Conception. Oh, we did get one more Immaculate Conception. Okay, never mind. That's plenty then. We're good. It's good. Okay, now we're going to Joker card. These are cool. I like the idea of Abyss because we can get flies for damage. I also very much like Guppy's Paw here just for health. Can't have both, though. This won't actually be conjoined because the um, these followers not count towards it. Okay, now I'm gonna abyss in here. Yo. Abyss is actually super serendipity here because we can turn any item into an attack fly. It's a little late to get this item, but we're going down to the hush floor. Including items we leave behind. So when we trade something out, we can get something back in return. Yeah, Hush is going to get uh, shielded tiered. Big time. Do I think there's four more rooms in this floor? Uh, I'm going to say yes. Vegas Aiden also stands no chance versus Shielded Tears. This one could run all the way to Delirium quite easily if we're given the opportunity. Uh, broken Scale, the order would be the regular Void would proc first and then the Abyss, so Abyss would essentially be nullified. Either you gain stats from the item of the Abyss, or you'd be pulling it into the void before the effect. Uh, Delirium is the final objective, or the longest objective to reach. Uh, you don't always get a Delirium portal, so it's not always the final boss. But we'll have a 50% chance for that here on this run. Hey, Lumini, thanks for nine months. One more for double digits. Thank you kindly. 
cards is this? Temperance, okay. Parasitoid is pretty good. Let's check out in here. All right, yeah. Those are nice. Battery? No battery in here. Okay, let's go ahead and buy this. And then... Oh, we have to drop something. Right. Hold up. I think it's time for Immaculate Conception to go. Drop a couple coins in here. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna... Gonna abyss this. Ludo's quite good. Uh, Parasitoid for small rock now, I think. Okay, we're not quite maxed here right now, but we got speed back, which I think is going to be an important stat. Actually, I take it back. We're going to put down blood bag here. Our build's pretty much done at this point. 0.5 speed down. Oh, because we lost the point three from that and lost point two. Hmm. What about this? What does that look like? All right, that's acceptable. Gonna miss you, Plum. I am. All right, what do I want to look like going into the hush fight? Uh oh. Okay, some weird shenanigan happened there where the thing didn't pop up. Fair. Can't even spawn tears. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh yeah, Hairpin gave us a charge here. Good call. I missed that. Hairpin being great again. What's happening here is we have giant piercing size with shielded tears, so uh, Hush's tears are being erased. Shielded Tears are one of the best effects in Isaac for this very reason. Look at all those Spodemons. This is the kind of build you like to have on the loss doing a uh, hush big time. Shielded tears pierce enemy projectiles only if you have piercing yourself. But yes, they certainly can. All right, Plum, you're going to join the team as a fly here, okay? Well... That's that. Let's uh, move along. Do I take Polaroid or negative? I took Polaroid. Fair. Still broken or no? Just on Hush. Okay. 
Let's mess it up my looks so bad. Let's get that parasitoid out of there. Let's get death size off. Uh, let's take this off. Shielded tier, sure. Champion belt's fine. That's about as good as we're going to get here. Ooh, love it. Oh, hey, look what we lost when we put down Immaculate Conception. We lost our followers. I completely browsed over that. Well, good to know that you have to keep the item to keep the babs. Uh, luckily, no substantial effect on this build's um, effectiveness. Still slamming and jamming. I, w I would have thought it was the be the opposite, but now I know. Yes, a face only a mother could love, except she doesn't. That's another tier's uphill. It could probably allow us to drop one more of our tier 8 items. What do you do? Cool. Yes, mums. The um, consolation prize also works the same way. Any stats that are gained from non-items, such as pills or consolation prize, will stick. Definitely. Because the stat is coming from a non-item source. Nope, 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 nope. Well... So the shroom provides the same damage up as Cricket's head. Are you part of conjoined? Join the team, guys. Go. Except for the mushroom also gives an all stat up. So there's our speed problem solved. Be a lot cooler if I could see, just saying. Mushroom and Cricket's head have the same damage multiplier effect, correct. Uh, Dirtiki Man, the small rock is providing tier rate and damage, where Cricket's head with Magic Mushroom providing like a 0.5 damage up. So statistically, small rock is much better. I guess the easiest way to put it is that taking Magic Mushroom almost completely negates the bonus from Cricket's head. Because the main bonus on crickets is providing the multiplier, which is shared. Pretty cool, actually.
Hey, we found the boss door. Cool. Shiitake. What was that? I couldn't hear you over all the eggy sides. Whoops. All dead. Oh, let's just make it back to our Mega Satan door now. I mean, uh, I think we've clearly done quite well for ourselves here. Oh, okay. I lost my direction. That'll happen. Interesting little hitch there. Too chunky to live. Too chunky to die. The rich chunky did. For transformations, you have to be holding on to all three items at the same time. Uh, there might be an exception for, like, Guppy's head or something. Let's go, Mega Satan. Mega Satan's gonna get riggedy wrecked right here. Just wait for it. Brimstone's the only attack that can really do anything to us. Okay, I guess for transformation, the exception would be space bar items don't need to be held at the same time, but other items would. That makes sense. Okay, but look at all those eggy tears, man. Get trivialized, sir. Delirium? Now, well, can't have them all. Good run, good run. Mega chest has appeared in the basement. Awesome. Right. Really nice run on Tate and Isaac. They're going to swap the wheel back over. I get pretty close on Jacob and Esau. I had enough of those boys yesterday, though. Okay, we got Azazel, Blue Baby, Maggie. Forgotten Jacob and Esau on the regular wheel for Mega Satan. So I'm trying to get Mega Satan on all characters done so I can reinstall the Always Void mod. 
has a small conflict with Mega Satan Unlock. I could just enable and disable that per run, but this is much easier and stops any little whoopsies from happening. Where are we at on the Tainted Wheel for Mega Satan? Honestly, not that bad. Got like six or seven done. Let's do a Magdalene run. I think as far as uh, progression goes on this save, the kind of very tentative plan, and this is a plan that'll be taking like weeks in the making. Uh, I'm gonna be getting uh, all of the Mega Satan wins on all the characters, uh, then re-enabling the Always Void mod, uh, finishing out post-it marks on all the characters, uh, then all challenges, and then like Tainted Kane runs to round out some of the other things. That's basically it. Definitely a lot of small little challenge stuff you got to do to complete a save. Uh, some weird challenge runs and other secrets, but none of none of those I'm worried about at all. Mostly concerned about getting the uh, post-its. Uh, no other mod that I know of, uh, Nick has any conflict with causing or stopping achievements. The reason that the Always Void mod stops Mega Satan completion is because when you finish Mega Satan, there's a 50% chance for the Void Portal to spawn, or a 50% chance for the cutscene. And the Always Void mod spawns a special item which allows you to go to the Void every time, so it removes the cutscene possibility therefore stopping the Mega Satan completion. So it's a very specific interaction with just that mod on that one particular unlock, so it changes the way the end of the fight works. All right, tears up, not bad. Point being, once you defeated Mom's Foot, you should be very safe to install mods with no uh, no problems stopping achievements, with a few exceptions. What's this pill, you think? Cool, cool. Dead Sea Scrolls? Okay. Big fan of how they modified this item. So on Dead Sea Scrolls now, the pool of space bar items that you can get is much smaller, and there's no self-damaging effects in here. So it's all good stuff. Unicorn Horn, the books, um, and a couple others. It's all good stuff, though. I guess the closest thing to a damaging effect would be Anarchist Cookbook. It's not hard to avoid. Going down. Shoot the woo. There you have it. This item with nine volts is one of my faves. Get to use it every room. Very random, very fun. Oh, this uh, this item as well has a big pop up when you use it, so it's a huge boost to have the no pop up animations mod installed for this one. Dead Sea Scrolls on Bethany is great, agreed. I think it's just a fun item overall. Book of Revelations, all right, I like soul hearts. What have I done? I put myself in a very bad situation, that's what I've done.
Keys are good. Crystal ball. Oh, hey, I want these. Protect my devil deal chance, thanks. A very sneezy kitty in the window. Looks like little penny sneezes. Oh, hey, I just browse right over the item room there. Yeah, it's a very good uh, good point, Omnitoad, that most of the items uh, in the Dead Sea Scrolls pool are longer charges, six room or four room, so just an inherent value there. I am very interested in doing this because a blood bag on Maggie is pretty good. Hmm. No bombs. Okay. Been a really fun stream so far today, everybody. Thank you so much for sharing this time and place. Grateful we have this place to hang out and enjoy a video game together. It's beautiful. Repentance sure has been a blast. Uh, we'll eventually get back to playing uh, some other stuff too, but it's funny. Uh, we have all these uh, staple games, and they have they have this way of uh, working in waves where we'll play a game a lot for a couple months, and we won't play it for a few months. I'm just really glad we have so many different games I enjoy playing these days. No shortage of games out there. Little Abaddon, huh? Okay. Little Abaddon. Yo, ball of bandages. Cool. If I had a true book of Rev, we could maybe get that bandage girl achievement. Or I guess if we find box of friends in the store, that would absolutely get us there. Parasitoid, always good. I'm going to do a little risky risk here and hit the temperance machine. Maybe. I'm going to look in the store in a very extreme circumstance. Uh, if, like, Box of Friends appeared and I could get that bandage girl achievement done uh, I may very well do that no not this time uh, what's a three cent card high priestess that's a good one I'm gonna buy this nice uh, I don't think so, Coda. I talked about this earlier on the stream. Uh, a pass for me on Tainted Grail. Uh, also, I've been looking at uh, the last spell, but I'm going to give that one some more development time. It looks pretty good, but I want to see a lot more out of the game. Before I try it. Okay. Um, I'm going to bomb for the secret room, I guess. That was a good call. All right, let's get out of here. It's a pretty good floor. Pretty good floor. 
We're going to go down to the alternate floor now. And even though we're slow, we have High Priestess to deal with the Mirrorverse boss. Secret room probably left there. Get out of here. Get Necronomicon. Okay. I'm going to take Mongo Baby. He fires quick, and if we get another follower, he will um, copy their effects. Looking for you, Rotten Baby. I wonder if there's any squeezing in between the rocks, uh, like as, with the lost here. Like, can I, can I go in between the spike rocks the same way I go in between a spike fire? My gut's telling me no. I think it's telling me that because I have um, died to those spikes as a lost before. Feels yeah. There's gonna be lurkers in this room. Uh, basically, you can see a full list of games we've played on stream. We're doing exclam games or games list. There we go. Prixie's on it. Don't believe I played that one. No. We do have a game suggestion channel in the Discord as well. If you ever want to suggest a game, we appreciate your input. All right. I will buy a seven cent school bag all day, man. All day. Also have a spreadsheet for the suggestions, but been mainly perusing the Discord, to be honest. Alright, who the boss? This guy's a jerk. Get chompy chomped. More health. Must be a Maggie run. Must be. Ooh. Hold on. Is Parasitoid a luck-based tier effect? I think it is. I'm going to take that before we go. I'll look as the lost. Hey, Bagdar, thanks for 52 months, man. Half century plus. Legendary, dude. Um, against my better judgment, I'm going to do this. Okay, that's a noper. That's a noper. Big old no peroni. Curse of the Tower. Don't have anything against Curse of the Tower. I just don't want it right now. A little faster, maybe. That's a dark rock. I'll do that. Hey, glad you can make it today, Frey. What's good? Yep, I almost died. But as it turned out, I didn't. Not yet, anyways.
Get stumpy stumped. Beat. Alright, damage up's cool. Halfway wondering if I should just sack room on this floor, honestly. Oh, get squashed. Dim bulbs okay. Yes. In here. Hey, take it easy, Andy Tomo. Thanks for hanging out. Are you a wizard? I hope not. I'm not trying to be one. Let's take a moment here to um, clean up this kid. Starting room? Sure was. Maggie, come on now. Okay, there we go. There we go. She's mad. She's got Cracker Jacks. She's doing it. You know, what the hell, let's go. Since we do have to fight both angels here, which is dangerous, I'm just going to make a quick uh, detour for the, what's the name of the item, tear drop locket for extra chances at eggy boy tears. Yeah, Allergen, if there's a lot of hearts on the mirrorverse, we certainly could heal up there. Smarter me would have left a couple of soul hearts on the mirrorverse and then uh, use those afterwards. Smarter me as often was not present for that event though. I didn't want to grab that, sir. Sirs? Sirs? Wow. Okay, it's a crawl space. Good. See, I really don't want a uh, door down to the next floor. I don't believe... Mongo Baby's gonna copy him. No, he's not. Alright. Here we go. What's up, dude? Don't want to be very careful not to fall into that hole. EP's number one, and now seven soul hearts. Hell yeah, the game listened to me. Thanks, game. Love it when the sacker works out like that, there's no consequence whatsoever. Excellent corn dog, Cephalus. Excellent. All right, so we've got our key piece done. So we have our Vegas Satan lined up. Beautiful. Okay, uh, teardrop lockets it. Let's go.
Hey, Char71. What's good, man? The Necronomicon. Wow, Potatsy Peeler. So does Potato Peeler on this care Is this going to give us ball of bandages or cubes of meat? I don't really know that it matters for me here. Probably still going to do it either way. Yo, that sounds nice, Char. That sounds nice, dude. Good stuff. It's always me. Okay, I got I got an idea. I just want to try this out real quick. Um, let's go ahead and hit Tilde here. Let's go spawn. Um... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Can I get specific items if I just type them in? A box of friends? No. A spawn item? Box of friends? Okay. Spawn. Item with familiar shop item is an option. Let's see what this does. Okay, so it spawns a buyable shop item. Interesting. Give item. Box of friends. Okay. Did that work? No? Oh, there it is. Okay, so... Oh, right, we have school bag right now. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to do, uh... Oh, crap, I just spawned in a second player. Cool. Okay, next we're going to do spawn item battery. Give item battery? Give, give item? I just want a regular battery. Here we go. Golden battery? Oh, that's not the one I want. Okay, so we're going to spawn item. Mega battery. Okay. So just for clarification here, I'm not going to use Box of Friends on any other room. Mega Battery. Just wanted that, which is a really obnoxious achievement. Okay. Just while I was thinking about it. So normally to get that achievement, you just have to create a full bandage girl. So there's a couple ways to do that. And the main way is to luck into ball of bandages on Lilith and then do boss rush and then use the box of friends like we just did there um, a bunch of times. The other way to get it would be to do like a tainted cane run and then spawn box of friends and ball of bandages and then swap to a different character and then do that exact same thing 
the third way and the way it was when that achievement was first introduced in the game is you basically had to find Book of Revelations on floor one and then hope that you get the correct sequence of horsemen um, on the floors. So hope that you don't get Conquest or Headless Horsemen as a result of that. The really trolly achievement is what it is. It's at this point just a huge time sink to make happen so that's why i cheese that one a little bit save myself an hour of time there's no real skill feat with that one it's just kind of a luck based thing yep exactly i had that happen me three times when i first got that uh back in the day got conquest three times after finding book of rev first floor that was one of those moments where I just kind of realized that um, doing all of the achievements or these arbitrary tasks are <laughs> not something I'm all that interested in, in certain cases. Yeah, but you can game break with monster manual and batteries too, but that's not really even that much of a possibility anymore. Anarchist Cookbook. Yep, Dead Sea Trolls still trolling, just not as bad as before. Bumbo is pretty cool, man. Yeah, it's late enough for a Bumbo pickup. Let's go. Lucky Penny, nice. Yes, you can, uh, real on mine. We just went over all of the different ways to do the Ball of Bandages achievement. Now I'm going to take this bad boy right here and I'm going to I'm going to peel off a meaty man's Nice. Oh yeah, energy beggar with Lilith is another one I didn't think of. That is another way to do it. Uh, Arenas is the dev console, which you can enable in the INI, and no, it does not block achievements. I understand why we're having the conversation now, since I just use the dev console to get an achievement, but I'll say the same thing I always do. Uh, there is no way to cheat in a single-player video game. The only way it'd be cheating is if we entered into an agreement with another set of players that we're going to play a very specific way, and then we used uh, mods or dev console to um, gain advantage over those players. I certainly did cheese it, but I've already done that achievement naturally several times, and even if not, it's just annoying. All right, let's see if we can give this guy some coins. Actually, hell no, I'm not. You go away, sir. Want a few coins for our next floor's store. Going down. I guess this turned into a friend build. 
Mongo's here, little Chad, Bumbo. Yeah, nice. Ow. Keep going. Flat penny? Okay, we're cooking now. Need these coins though, bud. Hey, I need those. Nice. Nice. Okay, I definitely want flat penny now. I do. Okay, let's go ahead and go down. Yum heart. We blow up the angel statue here, Char. There's no uh, item drop afterwards, unless you have the filigree feather item, which you can force extra god drops. Now we're getting keys. Yep, there is a mod for that, Sideways Rain. If you want angels to drop items after key pieces, there's certainly a mod for that. Well, hello there. I do have some cashola, and I'm probably using the claw machine. Yeah, I hear you, Desmond. At least while you're here, the only thing I ask is that you allow people to enjoy playing games the way they want to, especially single-player games. There's a lot of different proponents of the gaming community, and there's definitely, um, there's definitely a large handful of people that feel like using mods is cheating or using dev console and stuff is cheating, but at the end of the day, it's a single-player game. You should play it the way that you want to play it and do the challenges that you want to. Let's go ahead and wardrobe. Mr. Meat, you're slaying it, dude. This item always gets me in trouble, man. I think I'm going to pass on that. It's not even a bad item. It's just visually confusing. Yeah, the wardrobe is uh, aesthetics only. It just changes which items are displaying on the character. You got it. I'm going to bomb here. Very low on keys. Yeah, <laughs> rapid recline, I believe that. I believe that. It's a very confusing item on Hush for sure. Bumbo spit. Bumbo. What are you doing, man? Bumbo spit. Don't spit, Bumbo. Bumbo spit. Bumbo, we're banned from all but two grocery stores 
three counties all directions. Because you're spitting, Bumbo. Bumbo spit. I'm just not going to take to the store next time. You're not going to get any Oreos, dude. Bumbo spit. Have it your way, Bumbo. Have it your way. I think it's time Bumbo had some consequences, okay? That would have been a very decent year a moment. Let's change our look before the boss and then get out of here. Uh, let's take off the heart locket for the dolly. Let's remove the candle here. It's a good look. I'm going for this. Let's go. Factor beam's cool. Don't do me like that. It's like a real claw machine. Game kid? Nah. Not spinning a key for that. Let's go. Bloat. Come on, man. Have you considered that you're gross? Health up. Sure, you betcha. Dude, we might be making a meat family here pretty soon. Going down? If you already have a fully leveled meat boy, it makes a new meat boy, or a cube, new cube of meat, and then you can make multiple meat men, is what happens there. Bad trip happens. Speed down, that is, um, that's tough, dude. That's tough. I think I might just be doing, uh, gambling here in the arcade for the hope I get a speed up now. I can do boss rush at 0.77 speed. I'd really not prefer that. Um, okay, I've got hearts on the ground, too. Let's just go in on this right now. Bumbo. Gonna grow up, Bumbo? Gonna be a biggie boy? Gonna stop spitting on people? This is the only way to get Bumbo to exercise. That's it. Gotta throw coins down. Bumbo's done spitting now. Now he's crushing. Oh, that was weird. I have something that's generating soul hearts right now. I'm just getting really lucky. Luck. Oh. 
Every soul heart we pick up is a chance at speed up as well here. Huh. Like, legit debating doing um, the sack room for a chance of the seven soul hearts again. Yo, sick. Love it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and peel off one more piece here. Come on, speed. There we go, 0. 0.8. It's not, not insignificant. 0. 0.12, yay! Oh, yeah, sure, um, Kex. So the uh, the way you enable the dev console is you have to find the options.ini file uh, for Isaac, which you can then open with Notepad. So if you just type into the search bar, I'll type it in chat here options.ini it should pop up it's going to be in like your my games folder or something um you open that with notepad there will be a set of options and then they have numbers after the after them one is enabled zero is disabled so you scroll down to the line towards the bottom that says enable dev console and you change that from zero to one and then next time you open up the game, if you press the tilde button, the uh, button above your tab button on the left-hand side of the keyboard, that will open up the dev console. That four soul heart room would have been the Yara room. Okay, no Ipecac for us. Not today. Ipecac's not bad with Tractor Beam, but it's dangerous. Also, it greatly slows down the amount of flies and stuff we're going to get. Alright, we got Fool Card. Um, going to roll out here and we'll come back. Oh, I got hit by that? Dang. Dang. Why so much health, Blue Mom? All right, let's take this one, uh, this one. Oh, sorry, you're right. It is enable debug console, not dev console. Thank you. Um... Thinking no on that. All right, Doctor's Remote. Mini Mush is a speed up. Steven's pretty cool guy. Hex, all right. Uh, Steven's tempting for the Conjoin Transform or close to Conjoin Transform, which is really strong with uh, this, but. But. I really need that point three speed. Not even really a want. It's a need. <laughs> Dude, I wasn't trying to steal from Boss Rush. I didn't even know Teleport was in the pool, Dead Sea. Okay then, well. An unintentional steal. You know best, game. You know best. Let's grab our uh, Yara here. Scoot along. I'm going to do one more slam down on this. Just in case. Yes, that's what I wanted. Oh, I can actually move at a decent speed right now? Yes, you can steal from Boss Rush. I don't often do it. But, uh, 
that happened on accident there. Check this out. Any teleportation card will let you steal from boss rushers open. Mega pheromones. Down the hatch. Pheromones. Is there any way for me to reinitiate combat in here? Darn, there's not. Oh well. Going down. Okay, we're going to eat one more heart container here because we're getting it back at the start of the next floor. All right, we got to fix this look, kid, okay? There we go. You can be mad with your doll, but you can't wear that mask anymore. Ow! Just making room for a soul heart, that's all. Oh, yeah, double meaty man's bumbo, the dream team. Tag him in. Bumbo smash. Way to crush him, Bumbo. Alright, I'm just getting off this floor right now. Yo-ho, Dave, Quad Zero. Thanks for 16 months, Almighty Joker 79. Thanks for 50 months too long ago. Sorry for missing you there, Almighty Joker. Appreciate you. And Skirples, thanks for 82 months as well. Legends today, legends. Claw machine. All right, I'm in. Yo, Dane Leadra, thanks for 77 as well. Man, oh man. Keep on going. Keep on going, though. You can do it. You did it. Yeah, I just realized Slow Tears is pretty trolly on Hush, but I'm going to do it anyways. Cool hat right there. I want a cool hat. Okay, no cool hat for me. That healing elite is brutal. We were out damaging it, but still crazy. Uh, Dave, we have the uh, potato peeler items, so we've been turning most red heart containers into cubes of meat. Is how we ended up getting double meaty man. Get crushed. Let's check out in here. Man, burn's just like not so good. 
actually earns amazing, but for our where we're at right now, not so much. Going down. Fine. Okay, Empress card for the fight will be cool. I mean, how can I not take Little Gertie with all this stuff I already have? Get him, Little Gerd. Uh, Prayer card? Ooh, Prayer card Potato Peeler is... <laughs> not bad. Alright, I'm going to take Eraser into the Hush Fight. I'm going to erase blue flies. What card is this? I'd actually like a little bit less money in the machine right now. I can donate for god room chances. Wardrobe doesn't work down here for whatever reason. I gotta wait very specifically for the fly ball to spawn from Hush to make this work. Can also erase the ads he does for the one phase, but that's only a chance of, and there's flies associated with most of his attack patterns. Our meat mins might just uh, be too good, though. Guess we'll find out. Double meat man bumbo crushing it. Oh, that's cool. You can erase the first form to not fight the second form. It sounds very precise. The one right there. Got him. Got him. No more flies. Okay, Mr. Meats. I understand you need to be right on the target to get him. I get it now. Good job. There you go. Okay, these tears slowed down are a problem. It's fair, dude. Bumbo's having the time of his life right now. Fair damages, man. Fair damages. Yo, purity is a great item. Love it. We're going to pick Yara back up. We're going to take prayer card as well. Okay, I took negative here. Yes, I did. What item did I leave behind? Let's see. Dark rock. Yeah, I'd say Bumbo's AI is much better than Meat Boy. Meat Boy's no slouch, though. Yo, Blarbergos, thanks for 79 biggins. Thank you, dude.
Nope, nope, nope. This is maximum bumbo, yes. Level four. How did I lose my eternal heart? Oh, I haven't even used it this floor. That's how. I'm smart. S-M-R-T smart. Yo. I'll see what the card is. World sounds cool. A library. Okay. Not quite bookworm. Close, though. Confessional. Um, do I have any good reason to do this right now? No, no, I don't. Five. I was too early. Get absolutely chomped. Satan. Going down. Confessional uh, can heal broken hearts, can drop god items. Uh, what else can it do? It can clear curses and give increased god room chance as well. What do we got here? Cambian Conception. Okay. Ooh, Lusty Blood is quite good. Dead Cat is not, not as good. One use power. Too late for that. Um... I might take Lusty Blood here. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and use Prayer Card first. If I can generate a couple more heart containers, might you get some more meats as well. How I'm feeling about Lusty Blood is that... Would I rather that or just have two more meats? There's a few mechanics that can break your heart containers. Um... Making your effective health cap lower throw down. There's not too many of those though. Haven't had very much gaming time off the stream lately, uh, Meowners, so I haven't checked that out. It looks cool, though. I saw the, uh, the update thing. Um, I'm just gonna year in here. I'm tired of holding on to this rune. Yo, Blarbicus, thanks for 79 mods. Appreciate that. And Fly Spirit Game, thanks for 34. No victory lap. We will have to do that victory lap achievement eventually, but not right now.
Okay, I'm not taking knife here. It'd be really good. It'd just be pretty boring on this build. Would be strong, though. <laughs> Real strong. Nice, Glug Glug. That a victory lap achievement is always a fun one. Sci-Fly, where you been, dude? Sci-Fly, easily the best defensive item in the game. Just erases enemy tiers. Seeking them out, even. Cool. Yeah, that was tough. I did very much put myself in that situation, though. I will take some credit. Where it's due. Um. Do I have another fly item here? Does Parasitoid count? Am I busy bubs? Beezin and a bubbin. Is secret room if it's not there. Is it really here? I'll be. If I had anything to spawn in this room, I sure would. Alright, time to find Mega Satan. I'm going to use the restroom before we do this, though. Excuse me for just a sec. Fly Spear again. Thanks for 34 months once again. And Potato Fishy, thanks for two months. Appreciate that continuation. Our right, return momentarily to take on Mega Satan and possibly Delirium here. It's a possibility.
All right, here we go. It is time. I'm gonna find this comment I read uh, before I stood up from Duzim said, Sci-Fly Lilith is so good. I have not had the distinct pleasure of having that combination. Box of Friends Sci-Fly sounds dope. Oh yeah, Sci-Fly just saves us here. Might as well just stay on target. Get roasted! Got to watch out for Brimmy Brim here. That one. Well, I stood in for that one. I deserve that. Shouldn't have to do any dodging here with Sci-Fi. Should be able to stand right here and be fine. Find out. Look at Sci-Fi just erasing. I get the meat man's on there? No, not for this guy. Delirium? Delirium? Yo, we got the portal. It's happening. Yeah, welcome back, Mumzo. Ooh, look at that. Got an achievement unlocked. Oh, secrets. All right, so on this floor, I should be able to generate at least one more Meat Man. At least. On this floor, only one of the boss rooms is going to be Delirium, but there's going to be up to ten boss rooms here. First step is to generate more health. I do want to leave room for soul hearts too, though, because we have soul locket for stats. Hmm. 
Look at little Gertie. He's in there. He was shimmying. I am not a wizard. No. Okay, getting heart container. Go. I think this could very well be the delirium door, so I'm not going to do that. In fact, I think that is it. Got a particular look to it. It could expand into a 2x2. Two two. Has all the markers. Okay, is 4.5 volt better for this right now? Or do I want to pick this up on the way out? Hmm. This should be better with my current tier setup. We'll find out. Either way, it's not like that's going to make or break our run here. Uh, like right there, it wasn't. All right, not better for clearing, but definitely better on bosses. Ow. Little Brimmy joined the team. It's been a very um, team build. Go team, go. Oh, lard as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and chomp down a container here and then take lard. Cool. Hey, take it easy, Mumzo. What's up, Bunny Wild? Lots of cool people in the chat today. Okay. I think where the calculation is complicated with 4.5 is that our familiar damage doesn't count. Pretty sure. So some rooms we get more, some rooms we get less. Ah, the self-clearing room. Nice. I think this might be delirium. If it is, it's fine. It's not. Okay. Um, let's do something stupid. Four meat mins. A good amount of meat mins to have. Okay. Now we got a meat family. I am officially ready to fight Delirium right now.
Yo, it's Buttless Chub. What's up, dude? Where's your butt? Here he is, my dude. So getting the meat men on target here is the hard part. We managed. Not going to be a real quick delirium fight, but we're pretty safe with Psyfly. Oh, Meat Man's doing a good job right now. Hell yeah, it's right here. It's the one where I get him, Bumbo. Crush him. That big form does not have boss armor. Oh, he spawned regular horsemen? All right. GG, Magdalene to Delirium Victory. That definitely calls for some dapper time. Let's do it. Fun run, man. Fun run. Yo, we did it. All right, so that's most stuff on the Magdalene um, one. What regular characters do we have left to make a Satan here? Blue Baby, Nazi, Forgotten, Jacob and Esau. Who's next? Let's do Tainted Azazel. Be a fun run. Yeah, not too much going on for my setup. I don't have like a setup list or pictures or anything. I would bet for the tenure of my broadcast, I probably have one of the most basic streaming setups out there. I put money on it even. Okay, but can you, like, go towards the Dark Rock? That's what I want you to do. Just walk up there. There you go, bud. There you go. Oh, that wasn't even a... Boom guy. Okay. Fair. All right, so Tainted Azazel... 
That's pretty good. He's got mini brimstone to star, which is strong. Uh, he doesn't have flying, though, and he can do a sneeze on enemies, which makes him take double damage from the mini brim. The sneeze is very situational. Sneeze also has pushback, so good versus some enemy types. We'll be using almost exclusively full brim. Hmm. Okay, I'll take Stompy. I don't think it's trolley later, but cool right now. All right, change rune. Probably gonna use the fool card on that over there. Fine, I'm gonna do it. It paid out. Honestly, a pretty insane start for health and stuff. Huge basement as well. Wow. Look at this. Two of the same pill? What does it do, though? Spiders. Love it. Oh, hey, there's a spider right there, by the way. Is that 15 frickin' cents? What was in the store? I forgot. 15, though. That's like almost a quarter, but not really. That's what was here. Okay, well, I'm gonna buy this then. Okay, this was only basement one. Cool. Way too much health for that. I will, maybe I won't. Ah, oh, your plan's been foiled, sir. Foiled, I said. Is 
Dun, dun, dun. Okay, tears in range up. Uh, range is completely negligible here, but charge rate is not. Oh, there's our crawl space. I was just about to say I'm not going to clear every rock looking for a crawl space, and it showed up anyways. Life's good. Keys, please. How about a bombs or key? Not that. Okay. Yes, Rogue. The crawl space will always have a ladder in it, and the door down to the next floor will not have a ladder. It'll just be a hole. What does this look like, though? Pretty cool. Okay, that makes the brimstone a lot more effective. Just an area of effect. It does not, Jackie. There's no kickback from brimstone. I can see why you'd think there might be, but there's not. Good question, dude. This room again. Later, Tater. So the crawl spaces can happen per floor. Do you sell these? So you have a chance for a crawl space on each floor underneath some rock that exists there. Okay, I will take tarot cloth. The card that drops is strength. That'd make us real strong. You know what? I'm going to skip this item room uh, to get chances for planetarium on this, right? I feel like we're already off to a good enough start that planetarium chances make some sense. I think since we're playing the special, pretty strong character, that'd be a good time to do that. 20% chance for Planetarium on the next four floors now. I could range this, but I'm going to... Or change this. I'm going to save the change rune for the next god room. Man, come on, give me keys, dude. It's a key. All right, going down. What's in here? Kane's other eye. Okay. I think I'm going to take the mystery item. 
Book of Shadows, I like that. Also, who doesn't like some halitosis? Here we go. Her seeker might be here. Might as well check store now. Does Planetarium require key? I don't think so. That is a big old boy right there. How about ya? Amnesia. Mega Amnesia. Alright. Well, it does not make getting uh, through our second floor easier. That's okay, though. I'm gonna be bombing the heck out of this guy on the alt floor. the heck. Thanks for the clarification on the key thing. Nice. The tier rate up is excellent. One of the best stats you can get on this character, really. Dead Sea Trolls, not so much. Does Book of Shadows work on Confessional? By golly, it does. You feel blessed. How about you pop out a god item, huh? Gotta be like a really low chance for God item. I'll go one more heart. Okay, no thanks on that. Uh, gonna touch this, put it down. Uh, get. Gonna roll it. When held, non ghost enemies spawn small red ghosts on death. On use causes ghosts to explode. Okay, I'm gonna keep Book of Shadows here. Oh, yeah, I got Leo. What's up, dude? That item does sound extremely sick in greed mode. All right, then. Probably should have bombed those... Um fires. Three point three percent chance from item for the confessional. That is a very low percentage. Oh, our amnesia got cleared by the angel room. Neat. That must have happened when the You Are Blessed um, X popped up. Cool. Oh, 
Oh, hey, dude. No touch. All right, that's fair. Uh, hey, Bell Barn, the items to unlock Planetarium are not actually that luck-based. Um, a couple of them show up in the store, and Zodiac items are pretty common overall. may still take you a minute, but it's not like, um, it's not that bad. You do a couple Isaac D6 runs with the intention of getting planetariums unlocked, you'll probably make it happen. Oh. You could have just died instead. You could have done that. That's cool. More tier 8. We have excellent charge now. But I think the way that works, T Mac, is that the pills apply a new floor curse. Uh, the reason I think it's applied that way, according to the game, is you receive the new icon on the right hand side for the curse when you take like an amnesia pill or question mark pill. Yeah, both tarot card and deck of cards can appear in the store, which are both Zodiac items. Uh, AJ, this is Tainted Azazel, and this is starting, uh, starting tier. It's a mini brimstone. Let's check out what this card is. Wheel of Fortune. I won't. I'll bomb it, though. Super Secret's gotta be off here. No? Here? Um... Sack Room be so much more tempting right now. If I have not seen the God Room already. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, hey, I can use Book of Shadows to Leo over the mushrooms as well. Nice, uh, nice synergy. What's in here? Cursed Eye. What does Cursed Eye do with the, the brim? I'm going to guess nothing. There's no way it charges up five separate brims. I say no way. It's very unlikely it charges five separate brims. You can release before fully charged. That seems like it wouldn't work on Tainted Azazel just because of the sneeze. I'm just not going to touch it. I am definitely not against Cursed Eye. I do take it, but this doesn't seem like the time I want to take it. I like taking Cursed Eye when I already have a good set tier build, like Quad Shot is my classic Cursed Eye. And you get 20 shots fired out at once. That's cool. It 
Sakurum might happen here. Gladly. Yo, what's this red key wisp gonna do? Huh. Been on top of Seeker Rooms today. It's got that look. Randomly, or have a chance to randomly open red rooms. Cool. The the wisps for something I still need to learn a lot about. I feel like I missed a hallway or something. No. Oh right, it was greed, no machine. I get it. Super secret's got to be here. No. Why is the room shaped this way? Explain yourself. Alright, we boosting. Card we got here, High Priestess, Judgment, Justice, Magician. Now, Magician is pretty dope. Hell yeah, Double Soul Heart. Okay, Ace of Hearts. Actually, hold up here. I am going to do the Sack Room now. Alright. I should have dropped these fellers in the Secret Room 100%, but I didn't. Don't be greedy, okay? I know I know you're a beggar. Don't be greedy though. Oh boy. This guy's getting greedy though. Oh boy. Okay, I'll bomb for you soon, sir. Okay. Hey, been there, Mago. That does happen. Just gotta start the next one, man. Speed up. Verp. Hell yeah! We verping. What do you do? Something's wrong. So I'm gonna take Ace of Hearts in here. My thought, initial thought, is if we get the 30 coin spawn instead of the seven soul heart, I'm going to use Ace of Hearts to transform all the coins into hearts, hopefully replenishing some soul heart again. Here we go. Ugh. You feel blessed. Yo! Yes! Yes, I will do that exactly. So I think in most cases I'm not going to use Revelation, but I can charge this before I start a room. Oh, hey, Mega. Makes you feel any better? I've made that same mistake multiple times as well. Better luck on the next attempt for your tainted character. Very easy to make a mistake. We all do it. Uh, 
Alright. Okay, I'm gonna do this at least. A chance for an angel item. Now, however, fighting the angels isn't as cool. I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna fight the next angel because... On the hit after this, we could maybe get seven soul hearts back. And if we don't, I get that ace of hearts play I was just talking about. So it, it makes sense. The holy brim is much stronger than my current brim. If I get more damage, it'll be better to fire only my brim. As of right now, though, this is just much better. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got coins. We're going to ace of hearts. I mean, I wouldn't call that the return I was hoping for, but we got something back. True, Corgi. We could have left the room there and not fought the angel. Good, good observation. After the second angel fight, Riptide, the Sacrum is a 50% chance to teleport you to the dark room. All right, I am woefully behind on your guys' support here. Buddhislap86, thank you so much for four months. Appreciate that prime continuation. McMinifis, thanks for 75, three quarters century in DK prop. Thank you for 17. As always, ever late to or miss your notification, do sincerely apologize. Got a terrible case of humanitis myself. Very much appreciate the time you're choosing to share this time and place. Thank you. What am I taking with me here? Magician's really freaking good for boss rush. Let's do that. Magician's arguably even better on Hush, but I'm not going to hold on to a Magician card for that long. I refuse. Going down. All right, I'm in. Well, shredding those guys felt good. Soul hearts, please. Amnesia or hematemesis. Oh, that does put us in a precarious situation. <laughs> Another sack room. I don't think we're going to be doing any more sacrifice room shenanigans. We'll pop these, though. like bread. Almost debating dropping this worm. Doing some weird stuff. Depths one or two. One, right? I'm going to drop this. I'm hitting in a wider area, but I'm hitting less consistently. Sorely need a damage up here. That is the opposite of a damage up. It's a damage down.
All right, depths one. Let's fight the boss. What's up, Monstro? How you been? I wonder if the sneeze makes the holy rim do more. It doesn't look like it. Uh, the portion of the beam you hit with does not matter, Ace. Just the, um, how long they're in contact with the beam. An exception to that would be if you had the coal item, then the further away they were, the more damage they take. Oh, that's right. The Holy Brim can be fired omnidirectional. Funky, funky. Thing store on this floor? seeing greed and super greed that should mean that our next store will not have a greed in it uh, we have flight from the revelation item the same item that's giving us holy brim right now what soup Actually, hold up. I gave myself that planetarium chance. I need to, for my own sake, just go back here and clear this one room. Yeah, Revelation is a disgustingly good item. Flight, two soul hearts, and holy brim. Oh, man. It'll make it much better. going down. Curse of Darkness. Well, our Holy Brim will look extra cool in Boss Rush, then. Oh, I didn't know that about these segmented enemies. Thanks for sharing that tidbit. They no longer take simultaneous damage. Uh, a very fair nerf or buff to them actually nerf for the player Maybe not. I mean, it's a good spot to use Book of Shadows, but our stats and stuff are already looking quite nice.
Oh, yeah. If we're going to come back out of the room, then I have to take Fool Card into Boss Rush. I think I'm just going to take Straight Up Magician Card, unless there's an objective I really want to get back to here. I'm trying to imagine what that objective is going to be, though. Not much. Stopwatch, pretty great. Six clusters of random rocks. Let's go, dude. Okay, this judgment's going in the seeker room. Let's figure out where that's at. Is it here? Oops, I didn't charge long enough. Is it here? No. Is it here? Let me in. Super secret's almost certainly here. Okay, well, we got that one. Oh, a little bit won't hurt. The secret room that I want to see right now is the... Reroll or restock machine secret room. That was spoopy. Here? That's not it. Judgment. Um, wow. Choices. Yeah, uh, basic tips for secret rooms. Um, they're going to be surrounded on at least three sides, usually. Uh, the big giveaway for secret rooms is they're going to be bombable from all sides. So very often, uh, you'll see a room that has, like, a flat wall on one side and a big gap on the other. That can be an indicator. Bombable from all sides is the big one, though. I feel real bad about rerolling this build. I'm all for a good reroll. This just ain't it, dude. See what we can get here. Usually, no, uh, Riptide. If you need flight to place a bomb to get in the secret room, it's probably not there. That's some dog food. My man with the full seven there. Okay, drop chariot card. I guess we're doing it again. The chariot.
Axe that little bit of damage we needed. Helpful. Alright, I have decided that I want to use the Magician card inside Boss Rush rather than Fool card out. Because this seems like a pain in the ass. Mama! Mama! Alright, we got Stompy Red Mom here. We going, we going. Get him. You know that the power level on this build is not very high. I'm going to decide on... Actually, I'm just going to take negative for the damage up. It's not the easier route to complete, but... The damage right now sounds real good. Out of the choices here, Hula Duplex is it. I wonder if this actually makes our regular brim whiter. Doesn't look like it. Looks so cool in here when it's dark. I'm gonna bomb that. I'm gonna bump into that like five more times if I don't. Oh, cool. Using the book does not interrupt the charge of the Holy Brim. I feel like that's new in Repentance that that works that way. Oh, it's Avatary still alive. What's up, dude? You considered perishing instead? He hadn't even thought of that until I brought it up. this dead guy that's who that is Yo, Blue Sun version 7. Thanks for 90 months of continuous support and that very generous tier 2 sub, man. Thank you, dude. Any other card in here? It's going pretty good. Oh, this guy. So. Wait, I've never seen him brimstone first like that. Two times in a row? That's really not like Pin. Yeah, you, you got it right, uh, Wizard, that Revelation has a set amount of time. It's 2.5 seconds per charge, regardless of your tier rate.
that's it. Three dollar bill. Yes, I would like randomized effects on my brimstone. That's cool. Very strong. Going down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Seeker room? Some rooms just have that look. I'm gonna miss homing brim. Tiny planet is a $3 bill effect, as is my reflection, both of which look really cool with the brimstone and holy brimstone. Bumbo, you know what, man? Let's go. We can bum around together. Hey, awesome, Blue Sun. Uh, have a good meeting, dude, and thank you so much for stopping by to share that and your kind message. Appreciate it. <laughs> Love it! So wiggly! I might as well check Cursed Room here. Oh, it's still alive. I'm reasonably sure Tiny Planet is a um, effect that can happen off a $3 bill. Might not be any more, though. Unidentified pill. We'll take it and find out, dude. Good try, good try. Thanks for the confirmation, Tiny Planet is on $3 bill. I thought so. I thought so. Blubbins. Oh, I got a very spicy Jimby style cat yonkin right now. Pentagram and God, and these things don't seem to line up together. All right, it is, it is just too late for Jar or Wiss to do much good here. It's going to keep Book of Shadows, pretty safe item. The Jar of Wiss, you want to get in your first couple uh, God rooms because you need time to build it up to an amount of Wiss that helps. First use is one Wiss, then two, all the way up to 12. but it's a 12-room charge. Batteries count, but it'd be very unlikely we'd be able to get it past, like, six or seven charges without spending an ex extreme amount of time working on it, which I just don't want to do here. All right, Bumbo, time for you to shine, bud. That's your nickel right there. All right. I tried, Bumbo. You know, I actually need to bomb a machine down a little bit. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that because I need to have money to uh, like donate to get God Room chances. Bumbo spit. Bumbo, we already went through this today. You don't spit, Bumbo. Bumbo spit. Spit on you, Bumbo. Here's the deal, Bumbo. 
Here's Bumbo spit. Oh, I get it, Bumbo, you spit. Bumbo spit. I'm leaving the car when I go into the grocery store, Bumbo. Okay? I can't afford to get banned from another grocery store because you spit on the nice lady last time and the time before that. And, well, repeatedly before that, too. I gotta drive 45 minutes to get my groceries right now, Bumbo. 45 minutes. Bumbo spit. Yeah, no Oreos for you, man. Not until you behave. Can't even, can't even order delivery groceries now, Bumbo, because you open the door and you spit on them. Bumbo spit. All right, well, it's your life to live, Bumbo, but no more Oreos, man. Them's the rules. I'm bombing this. I'm just gonna take this now too. Get Bumbo all growing up here. Be a good, good adult Bumbo. There we go. Wow, booger, booger tier brim? That's a combo. Bumbo's actually going to be a significant source of damage inside the hush fight. Ooh, hell yeah, I'll take virus here. Hell yeah. I love that virus is now a speed up. Love it. This room is, like, annoying. I'm leaving. Ooh, that was spicy, Brian. I got, like, triple shot. Got it. Bumbo does the work. What does this do? Okay, cool. Now just firing our normal brim might be better than the uh, revelation brim, especially, especially on Hush here. Hey, Kranjabool, thanks for 71 months and several. Thanks for 28. Ooh, the bread. Yes, mother. Is this? No, nope, no bookworm for us. Not yet. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take Fat Protector. I don't need the speed up from Sagittarius. I guess. Check for crawl space here. Nothing for all that, Bumbo? What if you take this stuff, too? Oh, you gave the coin and took it right back. Okay, Bumbo. Okay, bud. Okay.
I really feel as if the double brimstone is now better than using revelation. This is not going to be a quick fight. Let's take a look at the health bar here. I'm going to charge revelation. Okay, that's full. That's pretty good. Okay, I take it back. I'm just going to keep charging revelation. It takes a while, but <laughs> my reflection. There it is. That damage is chunky. A lot less mashing, too. May still use the regular rim on a situation like this with the flies. Oh, if I got holy light, forgot about that. Three dollar bill effects gotta add into this calculation as well. You're doing freaking great, Bumbo. I just want you to know that, okay? You're doing the best, son. Yes, Bumbo did grow out of his spitting phase. We just had to give him some time and some love. Okay, that's cool. I'm currently in the Dead Zone starring Christopher Walken. It's not a good movie, but it's here. Oh my goodness. Can we take any more damage? a couple more damage then. Okay, Dead Zone Star and Christopher Walken. It's right here. Best part of the movie, Gindy. No, Christopher Walken's great in the movie. It's just the movie's bad. That's all. Not his fault. Probably a little more inclined to do the uh, Temperance Machine now, that we're at only six hearts. So it's got to be triple shot or something. Ooh. All right, I'm going to pass on this treasure here. Red key could get us into, like, uh, some extra rooms this floor, but 
Not today. I'm feeling like this build is just not meant to face Delirium. There's still a chance we fail on Mega Satan too, to be honest. Open up. Bumbo won't do anything bad, I promise. He's just... He just looks angry. Okay, he was angry, though. Hey, Zo Zero. Thanks for making it official with Prime. Appreciate that very much. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider that. Uh, the red key rooms do have kind of a reddish um, sheen to them. I might take one guess with it uh, here in a minute. We'll see. Uh, we found the door. I'm going to drop my remaining coins into this machine. They're kind of like an alternate floor, I guess would be the way to put it. There's a lot of red rooms per floor, like probably 20 plus. So you can have anything on the red rooms from the Ultra Seeker room, which has a guaranteed god item, to stores, devil deals, god rooms. Um, you name it, it can exist there. Alternate item rooms exist, too. Anything that can give you access to additional red rooms is generally very good. Crystal key uh, and red key are the main ones. Even a well-timed uh, crack key piece can get you into an ultra secret room. All right, going down. See what we got here. Little Abaddon, nah. La Megaton. Maybe not. Oh. Okay, one heart brimstone? Gives us a bigger laser, right? No, it doesn't. Alright, that was a rip. No problem, I get it. happy enough just getting lamb done here this run has not been like super good or anything it's been decent yes the book would be bookworm transformation that's true Bumbo kill. Yeah, Bookworm gives you an additional chance to fire um, another Brimstone stream. That's correct. We're going to reassess that before the Mega Satan fight. Monstro's Lung? Okay, Monstro's Lung is real cool with Brim. Yep. Yep. It does slow our charge rate down, but if we're using the um, Holy Brim anyways, talk about some wacky factor. Keep it wacky. I 
don't think Bookworm works with Monster's Lung. Well, I'm not sure. Could be could be a really nice effect. All right, Lammy time. Weird, the homing rim is kind of negated by Monstro. I feel like Revelation has some sort of boss armor piercing effect. No victory lap. Ooh, that could have been the charm color, Gindy. You're right. Good catch. Do, 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 do. Oh, hell yeah. Definitely want that. I'm going to take the glowing hourglass, too. This is two chances at Mega Satan. Like, done goof real bad. We get a reset. And I am certainly not past done goofing real bad. <laughs> Such a cool look. Get him, Bumbo, get him. Stain's running away under there. I saw it. No judgment, Stain. That was a scary situation. Oh, tech, tech brim works. Laser brims can't quite you can all kind of see it looks like a circular laser inside the brim It's gonna be a damage increase Looks cool All right, cool. Um, this is it. I'm not gonna take Lamegaton here, as cool as it is. Time, dude. I'm also just gonna charge up Revelation here, because I know it's gonna be good damage. Maybe not. Pretty good, too. Charge it up for death. Okay, we're at 16 damage now. I think tech took us to a new place where uh, just using our regular brim makes a lot more sense. I want soy milk with this. Or almond milk. Both of those would be rad. One continuous stream of random tear effects. Yes. Ow. Ow. Sirs. Sirs. Here's the thing. 
I don't want to have to redo this fight. I don't. Why are you spawning random mini bosses, man? You scared? Okay, you can just admit it. I'd be scared too. Next. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do I still have soul on this build? Good. <laughs> I walked into it. That's fair. I did that. I'll be back here. Oh, no. I'll be up here. Uh-oh. All right, we're going to try it again. This time without uh, all of the dumb damage. Excuse me for just one sec. Just going to use the restroom real fast, and then we'll uh, take on Mega Satan once more. Yo, Napri, thanks for 44 months during that fight. Appreciate you. All right, this is this is the real attempt for Sirius's here. The one. Does this have anything to do with conjoined on this run? No, we have Incubus, which works, but nothing else. Here we go. Oh, uh, we didn't die, no. We got down to a half heart and used blue hourglass. So we, in fact, almost died.
convinced now that regular brim is the best damage. Only because we have Incubus, though. That's a nice insurance there. We did not get that many heart drops last time. Not even close. Uh. Don't mind me, just squandering. much better this time. Blast away tears? Okay. That's cool. Didn't know the sneeze worked on tears. That's awesome, in fact. Got him. GG. That yeah, definitely calls for some dapper time. Not unhappy to get the no delirium portal there. I don't think that build was really meant for delirium. Got him. GG. Yo, Swish to Lasos. Thanks for 11 months. And Thurnburglar. Thanks for 7, dude. Uh, what did we get done today? Let's look. We did Magdalene to Mega Satan. We did Samson to Mega Satan. And then we did Tainted Isaac and Tainted Azazel to Mega Satan as well. Uh, so my current objective is to get all characters to Mega Satan, then we'll reinstall the Always Void mod. So for regular characters, we have Jacob and Esau. That'll be fun. Uh, Forgotten. And regular Azazel and Blue Baby. So four characters left on the main wheel. One, two... Let's not count Tainted Kane. One, two, three, four... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine characters on the Tainted Wheel. So probably some Tainted Mega Satan coming up on our next play session. 
Would love to get either Tainted Jacob or Tainted Lazarus knocked out on that. Uh, Tainted the Lost is going to be the last character to Mega Satan. I do. Because it unlocks the Haunted Chest, which is a trolling mechanic, but it's a fair unlock. I'm just going to save that one for our last Mega Satan unlock uh, for that reason. I mean, if we can do Tainted Jacob Greedier, we can definitely do Tainted Jacob Mega Satan. Might get some more Eraser Cheese. Uh, Misuke, you can see the uh, list of mods we're using right here. And yes, Always Boss Rush, Always Hush is installed. Uh, we'll be doing Always Void as well when the time comes. No, no Always Mega Satan, though. Just preference. Yeah, Eraser or Cleaver Cheese is probably the win mechanic on Tainted Jacob, to be honest. I'm sure I could do a full run of uh, Tainted Jacob, but I tell you what, if I get a cheesy build, I'm taking it. I'm taking it and running with it. Yeah, the reason uh, we're not using uh, Always Void Masuke is it causes a problem with the unlock for Mega Satan because it changes the way the fight ends. So that's why we're getting all the Mega Satan unlocks before installing that one. Could also just turn it on and off on a run-to-run -run basis, but uh, this seems like the way forward for me. Well, everybody, thank you for another amazing show here. We do have a stream coming up tomorrow around noon before a couple days off. I think I'm taking off Wednesday, Thursday uh, this week. Uh, thank you all for the great time and wonderful company. Do appreciate it very much. Another successful show. Uh, do enjoy any kitties that may appear on our outro here. As a reminder, going to run three minutes worth of ads here on the way out. The only ads I play for the entire broadcast. Uh, just thanks so much once again. It's been awesome. Can't wait to do it again tomorrow. Hope to see you there.